can describe all of them. Please move to the side of the car and put your hands on the hood. Why? What's with you guys? You heard what he said, sir. Do it right now, please. <coughs> what kind of shit is this, man? Hold up. Wait a second. You guys are arresting me for getting thrown out of a fucking window? I got thrown out of a window, man. Gun, partner. Sir, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. Yeah, I understand. I understand the rights. I know this is bullshit, though, man. I got thrown out of a fucking window. Please get in the car, sir. Yeah, but tell me, sir, what's the charge? Possession of a concealed weapon and disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace? I got thrown out of a window. What's the fucking charge for getting pushed out of a moving car, huh? Jaywalking? This is bullshit. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Coming to you live from Studio 5, high atop the Meadowbrook Building in Metro West Massachusetts, it's the Wicked Pisses Show. Hello, good evening. It is Thursday, January 12, 2017, 8.06 in the p.m. I'm Byron. I'm Bumpa. And I'm Allie. And uh, we have a special in-studio guest tonight. Jen. Hello. Hi, Jen. Jen, we carried over from a turning point. Uh, she <laughs> turned out, uh, I think, I, th- I believe that she got Steve's best ratings ever last night on this show. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he was very upset that as soon as uh, we had, hey, why don't you uh, come to our show tomorrow night? I got something to go already. We've got Chrissy calling. Hey. Already. Why don't we go with a call? It's a little early for Chrissy. Hey, thanks for calling the Wicked Pizza Show. What's your name? Hey, Chrissy. <laughs> Probably can't hear you because you got nothing hooked up to your thing. Hello. Yeah, I got everything hooked up. Do we have up. anything? Well, something's not hooked up. It's not hooked up? No. Because it's... Oh. I'm, right, not, okay. I'm not saying oh. a fucking word. It works. Well, it doesn't work that way. We, 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 I don't know why you thought it would, but it was my own, my fault too. So. You're not connected to it. What are you connected to? I'm connected to the. With what? Are you connected to Skype? To the Is board. Skype. Up? Yeah, it has to work both ways, dude. Audio, you have sound going out. It worked last night. You had the USB. You were connected to the USB. You without the USB. No, oh, well then log yeah, into nothing. Skype. Let me log out. Give us a second here. It wouldn't be a show without <laughs> some technical gas. Another wicked pisser moment. Brought to you by Mama Leone's meatballs. <laughs> Mama Le- Leone says if the balls aren't big, the meat's no good. That's a big meatball. That's you have a, to take more than one bite. That's a big well, unless meatball. You, unless you got a really big fucking mouth. Yeah, well, I thought that might work tonight, but. Apparently, no. So I'm not coming back next week. <laughs> no, you're coming back. Yeah, <laughs> We'll bring you back. Uh, All right. So it is Thursday, the 12th of January. It is a full moon out there. Oh, Ooh, my God. That explains it. Because I had, the, like, the day from hell. <laughs> huh. I did. Everything I touched, I swear, I dropped. Anything that I went to, like, go pick up. You dropped. I can't. I can't hear myself. Like, because you got to stand in front of the mic. Well, but I, she's more. I'm gonna be all crooked over though. Well, I mean, <laughs> I already pulled it towards me. Yeah, you pull it towards you and then speak into it. That's how that works. <laughs> it's just not her day. I guess not. No, you got to lean in too. No, it just. You they, can't hear me. It, they, it wasn't. Yeah, we, these the different the different types of mics. Those are dynamic mics, which you have to speak right into. Uh, these are condenser mics, so it gives us a little more room. We can move around. around. Yeah. Hello. But anybody know what I mean? You ever have one of those days where it seems like anything that you pick up or anything you touch, you either drop it, knock it over, or you're tripping over something? Just a full shit day. Oh, my yeah. God. All oh, God. Butterfingers, whatever you I'm got. swearing at myself. What the <laughs> fuck, Allison? <laughs> Didn't really get me anywhere, but. <laughs> oh, I'll see you. Chrissy, if you just bear with us a couple minutes, I'll try to get Skype up and add them. Um, yeah. So, are you you anyone monitoring Facebook by chance? Uh, yeah. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> As she logs into it. <laughs> no, I'm logged in. I just okay. have to switch windows. No, if you just that way you can see the com- <laughs> just the comments. Logged. Just uh, want to see all, you know, the comments and whatnot. And uh, jeez, even the burps yeah. with wine are just not as no. good as beer. No, it doesn't. Well, yeah, wine's carbonated. No. Yeah. 
Ah. Well, this is just really... not as carbonated. No, the other stuff was it had a little bit of that bubbles. was heated up. <laughs> that was cooking, man. What was it? Oh yeah, what was he had exactly? Why is this thing? So it was a, a Chardonnay, but that Chardonnay was twelve percent by volume. Wow, that really kind of from Stonington Vineyards in Stonington, Connecticut. You got to go there. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm going there. Apparently, they give out free samples. They weren't free. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing. They're free to me. Free, boy. Oh well, they're free to you. Yeah, because yeah. you're. I'm in the biz. You're cultured. <laughs> what the? <laughs> you just you just slap them. Uh, you know, I, I was I would support that. Um, All right, so I got the new look going. Uh, I figured uh, <laughs> millennials keep on pissing me off. You know who you look like. If you can't, uh, if 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 you can't fight them, join them. So here I go. You know who you look like? That guy um, in Sex in the City, the gay guy. <laughs> oh my god! I have <laughs> hair. <laughs> Uh, Chris, if you want to give us a call back, our Skype line is up now. No, and just, uh, again, the number, if anyone else wants to call, 774 oh, 314. Right. Yeah. Oh, do. great. 704. What's his name? Sorry. I forget what his name is on the show. It was something like some weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice try to recoup. Let's go there. We going. have four watching on Facebook Live. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I What's forgot going on? Yeah, you know, don't forget Jen right. on our guest camera screen. Uh, we feed her to the sharks. That's the whole point here. <laughs> we got to come up with uh, a, a, nice, huh? a theme for that. Cool. Every time she comes up on the thing, bah, bah, you know. <laughs> Boom! Ta-da! Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Christy, if you want to I wonder if she'll headbutt the mic like I did. Oh, my. <laughs> Probably laugh. I was laughing so hard, I went, ah, ah. Uh, Start laughing, and she's you know, you close your eyes, I'm paying attention. Bonk. Oh, and I she... broke my ass outside. Oh my god, that was a bad night. <laughs> I disappeared. She I, was disappeared. I gotta tell you, I never I seen back, anyone disappear come back like from that. The bar. She's laughing, and then all of a sudden, gone, like a magic trick, gone. <laughs> yeah, uh, we just... she <laughs> fell between two cars in where there wasn't any light. And she just kind of disappeared. And it, she and was I silent. Look at each other. Where'd she go? Where'd oh, f- shit. I was dying. I was laughing so hard. And then we hear, <laughs> and she's still laughing even louder. And I'm like, wow. She oh, survived I, that. I, I went, ha, 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 ha. And I went back like that, and I just kept going. Well, get the, uh, the big dog is on. Rich, what's going on tonight? Uh, get a beer in one hand, pile a tool in the other. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, Allie, it's a drill. I'm That's fi- right. I'm fixing some chairs. Uh-huh. Huh? Uh huh? You fixing shit? Rich, Rich, Rich said he's drinking a beer and got a pile of tool in another hand. Hanging a beer. Saying you to get your cut her mind out of the gutter. She's he's fixing chairs. I wonder how he broke those chairs. Huh? huh? Too many guests sitting. In oh, one chair. by the way, speaking of Rich, um, there was a question posed to me by the Black Dog Radio Show. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um. And I apologize, I couldn't answer the question at the time. My phone, being that it's a stupid phone, ended up <laughs> fucking up. You uh, kept disconnecting, and, there, right? Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't stay. Connected. Well, I remember you. You had, uh, I, I was messaging you, me. and I was like, "Is something wrong with going on?" Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, oh. the question was posed to me um, whether or not I would do a shot of a load. I oh. believe. I believe that was the oh, question. Oh my god. That was the question Forgive us, Jen, but yeah. Uh, Forgive us, Jen, a, but they're going to... That was the question posed. Got right. a message on the, the secret bat phone. Uh, there may be no sound on Facebook. Oh, well, I can fix that. All right. Continue, uh, Allie, on that. Um, And the answer to that so, question would be, fuck no. <laughs> uh, ah. Working on the sound for Facebook. I'm signing I'll to message, everybody out there. I'll, I'll, I'll call You need to learn that. I do. <laughs> I do. Oh... <laughs> Uh, All right. In the meantime, I have our Skype line. It is area code seven seven four three one four seven zero faw faw. Because we're, we're the wicked pisser show. The way he does that. Oh. It's a seven seven four three one four seven zero faw faw. What happened? Uh, so if Chrissy, if you're if you're still upright and able to <laughs> dial, <laughs> give us a call. Him being upright, that's always the uh, the challenge. That yeah, that is. Uh, well, I mean, he could be tied down by now, whoever he's uh, with. Literally. 
<laughs> or visiting a uh, bearded uh, glory hole. Yeah. So if you were watching by Facebook. Ah! Wow. Yeah. Hey, now. All right. That will crash momentarily. Uh, I want to see if I can start I right back I have my up. volume turned up all the way on Facebook, and there's no... Oh. That's awful. Well, we, it's paused. Oh, live video interrupted. So yeah. this is what it's like. The, the first five minutes of the show, we just work out all the gremlins, and uh, so that's, that's why we have housekeeping right? written right up there, so, <laughs> because we're cleaning. We, well, at some point, we hope to have a computer that we actually leave here. Like, I take this. His wouldn't be able to handle all this. And oh my we, we tried, and it's always, you know, it's I, his, yeah, I tried. I, had, I, bought, I actually bought a computer this computer, so. Yeah, well, it's also one of the older ones, but that's okay. Well, <laughs> wow, we're yeah, going through. Still uh, yeah. live. What's going on? Why is this going? Yeah, nothing else. Forgive tonight. me, everybody. I got myself a new laptop. I'm starting school next week. Oh, Very exciting Marty. shit. Very exciting shit. If no I, sound on Facebook. I just. Yeah, right. Facebook's gone anyway. One down. Yeah, well, um, well, yeah, it yeah. goes down a it's, few minutes it's later. It, it, yeah, it, it's done. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately. Never mind. Yeah, I'm Are trying to pull oh. up another one up again, but. Well, uh, I will put a post out there for our Facebook. Yeah, we're we'll trying to fix it. And let them know we're that just if they can reach us on we're Facebook, just gonna focus. that they can always catch us on Spreaker. Oh. Yeah. Allie's going to go to class. She'll be back in a little bit. So, uh, I'm really excited. I'm going to be taking a uh, sociology class with my daughter. Sociology. So, and possibly psychology, too. Well, introduction, to. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pumped. I'm stoked. I, um, I got my psychology doctorate online. <laughs> I'm going to be taking yeah. a total of four. You must have a coupon for it. <laughs> I, 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 I did have a coupon. I'm going to be taking a total of four classes. Oh. Yeah. I'll be That's a, a lot for someone who hasn't been in school and um Yeah, but I don't have to take like reading, writing or arithmetic, nothing like that. Well, I did bad in arithmetic. So. Oh, I I did so shitty on the placement test, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, you laugh. Do tell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, she started to it, she's like, what am I saying? I know, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, no, no, no. So, stop, stop. <laughs> they want you to write an essay between 300 and 600 words. Holy shit. All right. So mine was a lot of its, ands, buts, ours, ohs, yeah. whatever. Uh, well, no, it wasn't really. I don't <laughs> want to make myself sound that stupid. I did the best I could. But anyway, you score one through eight. Eight is the best that you can do. I scored a four. Oh, shit. Uh, but I've been out of school since 92. You know what I mean? What the hell? 92. What was so, I was married in 92. You were so was I. I got then. married in 92. You were going to the wineries back then. Yes, I was going to the wineries back then. I was drinking heavily. Oh, my Actually, God. Actually, I was drinking. Re- you knew I was drinking really heavily. Oh, you were drinking. Uh, yeah. Holy crap. I was drinking with all of your friends, too. Drinking heavy, then, heavy since you got out of bottles, man. And then the algebra is, uh, which is really funny because... I had to guess on everything. I, had to, huh. I, I don't know algebra. C, 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 Funny C, thing is, is I got a better score on that than I did on the regular math where I actually did try. Well, guessing is always better. Well, apparently, I got a higher <laughs> score. I got a question. Yep. Did her camera just go out? Yeah, I was going to... I'm shitting the bed all over. No, I think it is. It's the Wiccan thing. I yes. So we changed that camera uh, three times. It's the it, what thing? Wiccan. The Wiccan. That, that the can, Wiccan thing? Your religion. Oh, it's, not, it's not a religion. It's a witch. It's a witch. Yeah, um, the, we have changed that camera three times, and it's only when it's on you, it does not work. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> and, you know, so well, I'm out. a fucking jinx. Let's what find you out. know about that? Hey, help me out here, man. Uh, 68? Fine. I've never seen... I've never seen Facebook say that you can have 68 Can you find out which one? Wow. Right, so we're going through the rat's nest again. Yeah. Again, we developed, we had such a clean system, and then all of a sudden a rat's nest appeared. All right. But um, it's my fault. It it's always my fault. It is. Yes. You can't keep shit open. Let's get, see, uh, see, we're not opening. No, I'm just thinking. We're not opening a beer tonight. Ready? We're going right. to. that orange light on? There you go. Oh, that was a No, it hard. is not. <laughs> Give it a moment. Let's see if we'll... That's the drink signal. Uh, the drink signal. <laughs> so anybody out there uh, playing the drinking game, that's now is the time to drink. 
Oh, so we have to do that the whole show. Uh, well, you know, if you want somebody to drink, you do that. I have to, I have to do this. <laughs> yeah, she's got... <laughs> she got oh. uh, there you go. Is that fine? All right, we're going to have a drunk audience <laughs> by uh, by my segment here. Uh, well, uh, we just give a shout-out to the Black Dog Radio Show. They uh, talked about our previous show. Um, and they got a little gnarly, I think we should say. Really? Did you listen to that part? No. Um, yeah, I they, didn't get a chance. Which I, part in particular? Uh, they, well, they talked about the million-dollar question, the 10 versus 1 question. Remember that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, the variety. So, you know, obviously. Don't miss uh, that one. I think. No, because remember you which we had talked about, it, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but it, um, would you blow somebody for a million dollars? Remember oh, that? Oh, bumpers then, question. And then, and then, it, was and then it was posed a different way. Uh, would, would I suck one? one dick ten times or ten different dicks? And I said, Oof. I'd suck I like ten variety. different dicks. I'd suck, I'd, I like variety. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough to send Variety people is into a spice a... of life. <laughs> there you right. go. That's oh. the touch of class. That's not my answer, though. <laughs> Everybody's saying I'm going to kick some ass. <laughs> oh, um, but anyway, Richard posed that question, kind of transformed a little bit. I think uh, Gizzard of Jackhammer uh, was like, you know, repulsed by that question as far as giving a blowjob for. A uh, million bucks. I'm so what? A what he's of... like, all right, all right. He, he poses, all right. Five million. I drop a ten inch log on a plate, and you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I want the puke listening to that. Yeah, I'm I, like, oh. I saw all your comments saying gagging, oh, gagging. Oh my god, <laughs> I really missed out. You know what? I, I was stuck at work. I, I had to go in early, and I had to stay late. At 45 minutes past the hour of me going home, I get a phone call. Dude, I got, like, really hammered. Can you uh, stay a little bit late for me? <sighs> so I missed that whole show that night, and uh, now I'm going to definitely have to play that back. Yeah, I was kind of bummed out because I couldn't listen to it live. I had to wait till the next day and listen to it well, on the way into work. You didn't have signal or something? Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with my phone. I, I had, oh, that's I right. Had I signal. remember you had a message. I had signal because I messaged him. Did yeah. I, did I message the piss the, the group, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I did have uh, internet. I just don't know what the hell was going on. Ah, that's, it's that's been the acting, valley. It's been acting really weird. The it's screen the lightens up. It's a stupid fucking phone. <laughs> I don't believe in any kind of smartphone. And that stupid. was uh, that was the technical term for her phone. Oh. Just, uh, yes. Uh, ah. All right. So what? Uh, oh. What else do we got? Hey, we we uh, recently on the show, uh, a couple of us appeared and uh, stole from from a turning point. Jen, we kidnapped her, brought her here. It <laughs> took one year for her to even listen to a turning point, wow. let alone appear on it. And within minutes, we stole her. Yep. (laughs) And she's here now in our studio. And unfortunately, Steve tonight is unable to call in. Oh, come on. No, unable to call in. Not too bad. Boston must have pooed on his bed, so. (laughs) (laughs) Got to change all the The, sheets. The the Boston poop report. Uh, We don't don't Ah. have that, so. uh, Oh, we could do the Cooper report now. The Cooper poo report? The Cooper pooper. The Cooper pooper report. He didn't shit when she walked in the door, so that's a good thing. That is a good thing. So uh, that cat is something else, man. Let me tell you. Okay. He will. Yeah. Well, it, it's he's he's not right. Yeah. Gonna call him Oscar though. Yay! Oh my god. Can I ask a question? Go for it. Are we still recording video wise? Because like my camera, my camera's on. Yeah, just it came back on. I didn't uh, know. If we're not doing I didn't anything. know if we're still gonna if we're still recording. Um, I'm gonna be. Visual, we will be again. And we're gonna like upload it or something. No, I mean, that's or... stopped recording. But I am gonna start up again. Oh, all right. I wasn't sure. Yeah. And... Any moment now, anybody watching on Facebook may see us. I dun, dun, dun. I kind of like the radio thing though. The mystery of what we look like. I agree, and you know, I'm, I'm almost well, I'm almost at that point. Is I just I don't have the patience to sit here and go back and forth between the video, the yeah. audio. Um, I can care. You know, it's I. I, I have always said that the video is a added bonus. Sure. Not our show. Sure. So if you have a problem and you know you can't listen to our show, if you have a problem, should send be on Spreaker. Send, in the send first us place. a letter. <laughs> mail it to the Wicked Pisser Show. I PO know. Box six six six. Care of 
No, no, no. Somewhere no. Metro West Massachusetts. 1313 Mockingbird Lane. Okay, there you go. There's Pennsylvania, the Transylvania. Pens. Pennsylvania, Transylvania. Was that uh-huh. the address? Eight six my my and the phone number is um eight six seven five three oh nine. I I did that's that to one. somebody one time. Somebody called me and they kept bugging me, so I kept I knew it was a scam. I knew it was a scam. <laughs> so oh my God. they're like, What is your address? And I'm like thirteen thirteen Mockingbird Lane. Trans Pen, Pennsylvania no no, Transylvania, Pennsylvania, something like that. And uh, it was pretty funny. But anyway, I had to teach Lisa to give out that number when people ask for yeah, it. Yeah, she's going to have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> what number? The, the seven, seven, five, yeah. <laughs> and should and we, we are, are live on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, we are back on Facebook. Oh. Uh, everybody behave. <laughs> Put that shit down. The finger out of your nose. Kelsey, Hi, what's everybody. up, kid? Uh, Kelsey, our special, special oh, correspondent, is on. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. What's his name? <laughs> Agent Mark Styles. Yeah, right? hey, listen, I got, well, you didn't show up that night at the bar. No, he looks like the gay guy from Sex and But the I City. got, with I'm this, gonna, I'm going to Google that. With this hat. What his name the, is? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, the, and, 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 and a lot of booze in me, and, and a guy who looked like a sports star. Yeah. <laughs> I got us into oh. a Coyote Yuggy. Ugly. Ugly. <laughs> Listen, I've had wine. Coyote yeah, Ugly. I know. Uh-huh. And you guys give me the last segment. Pretty yeah. much uh-huh. you can figure the last segment is going to be. <laughs> it's going to be awful. Ooh. That's what it's going to be like. Yeah, everybody's going to say, all right, uh, well, that's it for Byron. And I'll be curled up in the corner. Sucking his thumb. <laughs> with his silky. <laughs> I'd like to pose a question. What do you got? Wait. Now, oh, on man. TV, right? I watch a lot on like Netflix. Oh, I watch. I watch. Oh, oh, that rang my ears. I know. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's the drink signal, any of you out there? So still like, drink. On Showtime and HBO, Cinemax, all. Well, I know Cinemax, the answer to that Skinemax. question. Cinemax. Is is probably yes, but um, that's a good sound effect. But what I'm curious because there's a lot of shows that are on that, um, you know, have the sex scenes, yeah. And it honestly, ah, it looks like they're having sex. You you can tell that that they're naked. It's obvious that they're naked. That's good. But is there actual penetration or, or or? Intercourse going on. They said in that movie, um, Trainwreck, I think it was. Yeah, with John. Never saw Trainwreck. Trainwreck I've never with seen uh, it. that You'll psycho. You'll be watching that tomorrow, uh, I'm sure, right? Amy I'll Schumer. Be watching that. Right? <laughs> I know, right? That's gonna get him to watch it. He's gonna, he's gonna Netflix uh, it when we, when we all leave. <laughs> Amy Schumer, and uh, so there was a scene, uh, a sex scene, <laughs> with Amy and uh, John Cena. Oh, just the tip winning. Yeah. Does that and, really uh, count? Supposedly, darn, I've <laughs> seen. Uh, Something what, like just that the tip? Happened, but... yeah. No. Just the tip, huh? I had another question. That's an interesting... Uh, I'm glad you said that. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, no. oh, shit. She's bouncing shit off. Yeah, right open now. it up. Well, no. I mean, what do you guys think? Let, let, let's finish with the question I just asked. You know, how our listeners it... out there, too, you know, on Spreaker and Facebook. Let, let, let me know what you think. You know, Do you think that they're actually having sex? I think in a very small percentage of movies... They may have sex. Because they show naked asses. Oh, they yeah. They show but... tits. They show bouncing. They show banging. Yeah. They show everything. So, <laughs> I mean, it makes you wonder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, what they do is, like, an actress will put on a, like, what do they call it, a, a nude colored thong or something like that. No, Merkin. I'm, Merkin. T- I'm talking Well, not right, right, but no, during the, the, the oh, sex oh, life scene. Oh, okay. But, like, I see what you're, I know what you're saying. It looks like you could. It's so it's far, realistic. Yeah. And, but they, you know, they have all there. You know, you just hope the guy. Doesn't get too up and slide in. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I, I get to so. Uh, my and my other question was: it, and this is to this is to the ladies. This is to the ladies. Does size really matter? Ooh. See me. I personally don't think so. I think that if you know how to move it and use it, 
and oh. know how to hit the right spots. It doesn't matter what fucking size it is, as long as it does the job. So it's the motion oh of the God. ocean. Oh, my exactly. God. Exactly. It is the motion of the ocean. All right. Here you go, ladies how and gentlemen. How about our listeners? Let me hear something. Come on, from the Black Dog Radio Show. So yeah, you can reach it. out. You can reach what out. What do you guys think? It is the motion of the ocean. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> oh, Rich from Black Dog Radio Show. Uh, dude, where's the sock? The dude, where's the sock? <laughs> oh. Jill says mine is perfect. I guess that means no curvature of sort. Oh. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I I oh. think to me uh, 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 the 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 curvature if the if it's nice and straight that's perfect that's the way it should be if you it's if it's a, hooked that means you're doing something wrong too much too often. Uh, no, you know what a a hook is is nice like the the upward hook. The upward hook. Why the upward hook? Because it hits the G spot. Oh, okay. Well, your G spot, not see, mine. See, I had to tell you, you don't even know where the G spot it's is. Because it's your G spot, not but mine. My G spot is just going in. You don't know where the in. G spot is That's on a woman. Not it. Does every woman have a different G spot? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't even know. I don't know the I answer know. to that. Do you know, Jen? I wouldn't know. Let me Google. <laughs> I, I, I haven't Google. checked that yet. Any, I'm, I'm any listeners who think that they, they that they've determined that different women have different G spots, let us know. How about more than one? Huh? No, 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 that's just one. Just one? Yeah. Okay. Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> it's oh, about to get a lot hotter, honey. Wait till my second. That, that's why we're feeding you to the sharks here, Jim. That's the oh, whole shit. point right there. What was my right question? Oh. The, um, Does every woman have a G different? spot? Well, um, is it the same G spot? Oh, yeah. All women, women? Do all women have a, the same G spot? And uh, anyone who wants to reach out to us or on Spreaker, Facebook, somebody might be monitoring Facebook. I'm not sure who we are. Um, or you can also reach out to us by Facebook Messenger. Uh, if you know any of us individually, text us. We'll share it. Um, things of that nature, right? So, anyone, what are you looking at? You doing anything in particular? Oh, probably not. Um, yeah. I got wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, I got lubed up before the show. <laughs> Ah, uh, Kelsey, two to four I'm inches in. That. Okay, well, um, yeah, and up. So it's the upward thrusting motion. That, uh, is what, oh, Rich, that knee curve for G spot. <laughs> two inches, but some women like that. Um, the, can you not like do that? that I'm oh, I'll try. Yeah, girth. I, as Ali said in the previous show, girth. Right, girth. girth is oh yeah, yeah, girth is definitely important. Oh, yeah. If you don't have any girth, then it's like, <laughs> you know, it's just fucking. No, no. Gotta have girth. Gotta have girth. Or other talents. Like, there you go. Yeah, right. I mean, but, like, penis-wise, girth is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Girth is good. I'm trying to find out about the G-spot. What's your well, we got everybody. We got Mr. Ed listening in tonight uh, from way out there in uh, Wisconsin. I have to remain quiet on that. <laughs> oh, and our boys out in the, uh, the greater Chicago area. Chicago. The that- Bears. That there is a good area there. They've got a the the only problem I got over there in Chicago is them people there who are up uh, scooping uh, <laughs> the special needs people off of the street there Little and, bastards, uh, and huh? torturing them. I got to tell you that 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 pissed me off quite a bit. Uh, I I don't care. Kidnapping people, not a thing. But especially someone who I mean, if you. There are certain people out there who are, they have lowered, I don't know what you'd call it, Jesus. Well, he was autistic, and my son is autistic, so that really affects me. Yeah, well. Your son is autistic, you mm -hmm. said? But if you befriend somebody, you know damn well that that these people befriended him, or claimed to befriend him. him. To gain his trust. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, they've got them all bound up and they're torturing the crap out of them. That just pissed me off. That, you, I'm sorry. You're talking about the Facebook thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the video. And the fact that Facebook has no checks and balances. And I know that Facebook has no checks and balances because I got into a little uh, uh, troll fight with some little shit bird for, off of the, uh, off of the, uh, the Sprint site. The guy huh. work. The guy worked for Sprint. You could tell he worked for Sprint every single time that that I would comment about the, the awful service. <laughs> and then next thing you know, psh, I'm banned from publicly commenting for 24 hours. Bastard. Hmm. I was not being. But he, well, all he did was he complained about me. Yeah. 
and that was it. That was enough to ban me for 24 well, hours. Yeah, Facebook, uh, any of the, a lot of those websites. You, you they know, just about, ban you. But yeah, feelings hurt. meantime, torturing uh, uh, human beings. That's okay. Yeah, air yeah. that live. Screw that, you know. Exactly. I don't understand what 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 is going on. I maybe I'm just a grumpy old man. I don't understand what. Maybe. But then their kids they're talking about there. But uh, I I don't get it. I never I never as a child I never vandalized anything. I had a little brother who destroyed everything I owned. So I pretty much never destroyed anything. <laughs> I oh. had no. I mean, Oh, you wake up, all your toys are smashed on the floor, and you look at your brother, and he's like, "He he, fuck you." <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was uh, yeah, that was one fuck. That's no, two. That, no, you already <laughs> said one earlier. Oh shit, I did. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that kind of thing is really set. As far as this goes, it it turns into some people turn it into a race thing. I think the response is uh, is is an awful race thing. It, it we're all this. You 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 cut us, we bleed red. Yeah. Okay. Inside, we are the exact same thing. It doesn't matter. Black, white, brown, purple, yellow, green. We're human beings. Knock the shit off. Yeah. No, no more of this this. Black Lives Matter, White Lives Matter. I don't give a rat's ass who you are. Just be a productive member of society. Live your life and don't screw with other people. Yeah. I, think, I almost said the yeah, F word. Race, <laughs> I, I'm a firm believer that race is an issue because some people make it the issue. Um, will it always be an issue? Yeah, to some degree because there's that small percentage, that fraction of a percent that are just stuck in their bigoted well, ways, you know. No, I got to say, in the Star Trek world, race is not an issue. So okay. that's going to happen. Is all right. gonna well, go back there. here on Earth. They're going to kill you no matter what, right? Yeah, yeah. Back here on Earth, Earth One anyway. Yeah, Earth um, One. <laughs> you know, the, I, I just think that race continues to be an issue because they a lot of them make it an issue even when it really doesn't apply. I got to tell know. you, I, as a kid, I said the N-word and I got my head put into a wall. I got, yeah, that I was, got chased around school. But I didn't realize the. the I well, I, yeah. I didn't realize what were you were how, saying. Yeah, I didn't realize how profound. Right, and that that's what happened. Was I was and, sat like, down. What it actually meant because my stepfather was very. Um, he he was prejudiced. We had some um, biracial children that lived across the street from us, and they my parents would call them the little spooks. And we would laugh, oh. ha ha ha! Oh, I'm a little spook. We, oh, God. we would we we would laugh and be like, ha ha ha! But we didn't know. We didn't know that it wasn't right to not laugh. You know what, what I mean? Because that's what they were teaching us. So as I got older, I was like, I mean, I have no excuses for saying what I said when I was younger. Sorry, I went off on that. And I I I said to this kid, the, the I, I called him the N word. I I really don't ex- exactly remember exactly what happened. And this was back in. Seventh, sixth grade, or something like that. He bounced my head off of a wall. Yeah, he bounced my. Well, this is four cars, folks. But this is something. No, no, because I was a crossing guard then, so oh, there, there were cars. Kind of like being a hall monitor. Really big cars, bigly. But uh, it's a word. Bigly, it is. It is a word. Uh, <laughs> and we found Let's take a word for it. <laughs> but, but I, uh, I, I got sat down with, with uh, the head nun at the school. Uh, we sat and we talked it out, and I under, now I completely understand what what the word means, <laughs> and because uh, I didn't, I, it was, you know, what the hell with this. Uh oh, hot flash, hot flash, hot flash, hot flash alert. Uh, but and then so I have I have actually not said that word since that day. Yeah, I refuse to say it because, and I understand. And I had a discussion with someone at work years later who said that word. Mm, it 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 means it, it's it's a term of ignorance that people are using between each other to, to to you know call them ignorant and and I still won't use that word. It's I can understand that. Like what I don't understand is you know African Americans will walk around and call each other that you know. Well, again, we're talking the, a term of ignorance, and they're just being 
But it's like they don't even have respect for the for the meaning of the word. Right. No, what they're what trying I mean? to do is they're trying to. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like they don't realize that okay, so you're saying the N word, but yet you don't understand the significance of the word and the power behind it and what it actually stands for and how it was used in the past during slavery and all this stuff. You know what I mean? Right. That, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what you're saying. What are you doing? Uh, but, I keep on yeah, stop, stay still. But <laughs> people say that to each other all the time. Um, and that bothers me. It bothers me too. I don't like that. I don't like... I don't like hearing it from white people. I don't hear it, like hearing it from... Believe me, from I am... Black people, I don't like hearing it from anybody. I, I'm an equal opportunity offender. <laughs> uh, I don't... Mm-hmm, I will offend again. No, I I just... Words are only as hurtful as the the power that you give to them. To me. And that's what I was taught when I was a kid. And that's what I live my life by. People call me all sorts of weird things. Words Believe me, can, I know. Words can hurt more. Emotional abuse can hurt more than physical abuse. And it and it stays with you longer. It can stay with you your entire life. If it's you more let damaging. It. Stuff. Right, if you let it. Share some info here. Uh, <laughs> late night with Mr. Ed. Uh, it said, race is so much of an issue because many have exploited it for personal and political gain years. Pulling the race card. Yeah. And so many people buy buy into it. Why else do you think a lot of folks talk about your black Latino whatever whatever card or the ghetto pass or it's cool to joke white folks. To j- to, cool to joke to white folks. I I didn't type it. Um, but if you say so, something about a minority, then all of a sudden you need to go to sensitivity training. Mm. So, And I think I, I understand like what he's saying is like if you just if you kind of make a off the cuff remark, then you you know you're gonna get in trouble for it you know and rightfully so. Go ahead, uh, I know uh, my, you know don't be restrained. Oh yeah, just let. Like I'm just it's, trying to find the time to jump in. Oh, jump, jump in. in. So yeah. I am adopted, and my birth mother is white, and my birth father is black, and a few other things. So I was adopted into a black family, and. Unfortunately, I have found that the black side of my family has been more racist than the the white side. Wow. Um, So I found out through DNA testing that I'm 37% African, but I'm also Irish and French and German and um, English. and No Italian. I am Italian. Oh, yeah, I was say, there's got to be oh, no, some Italians. Italian. Like 12% Italian. <laughs> it's, 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 that's a cool mix, though. Right? Them, there, yeah. them there Italians are busy. Wow. I, I'm about 20 different things, so wow. it's really hard for me to identify with anybody, um, but I don't want to say... Like, my, my, my cousins, they call each other... I don't want to say yeah. it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. And I just, yeah. I just think, why are they doing that? But... Um, you know, they really identify with being black, and I just don't understand it. And so, yeah. Um, you know, just like the president, they keep saying the president's black. Well, the president's biracial, and so he's a little bit of everything. But he kind of he he kind of used the, the black, I'm a yeah. fla- first black president. Yeah, so, I'm not gonna, I agree. I'm going to say the worst thing. I'm going to hate mail about this. Oh, I'm going to say the worst. <laughs> He's a Democrat. <laughs> I, no, I agree with you. Like I've, always, I've said that a million times. People will say, "Oh, he's the first black president." He's white too, you know. And they're like, well, "He's a black president." He's white too, but you know, he like, but he doesn't. He doesn't. You know, he, he uses the black side to his advantage. Mm-hmm. You know, and so it's like he just completely dismisses the white side of his heritage. You know, I don't know. It's just weird. You know, but I think it's because that's. For political gain, yeah. you know, obviously, but I mean, uh, as people said, but. I'll be the first to say that when I was growing up, my, my my parents didn't say you can be whatever you want to be. <laughs> no, my dad said, "Good luck, kid." As <laughs> <laughs> so I walked out the door, but but uh, it was don't uh, let the door hit you on the way out. Yeah, that, actually, yeah. that was one of the arguments we did have. He <laughs> said, "Do not let that door hit you in the ass on the way out the door." <laughs> I'm like. I'm out of here. 
And uh, two years later, I was back. You know, I, <laughs> it's just one of those things. But uh, I do have, and and I I was fortunate enough to to get a chance to thank my parents for uh, for selling me straight on on what life was and didn't that they didn't sugarcoat shit. Uh, they didn't hold back on punishment. That's why I have so many TVs now, because uh, uh, I was grounded from TV. When, five TVs. Yeah, five. Still not enough, though. He wants yeah. one in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, he, he, his dream house hey. should be on one on every wall with in every room. With the bidet. Room. Let me tell you, no, with the bidet. <laughs> yeah, 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 see, she saw the bidet. But All right, she's on a shit about the bidet already. I love there, it. There is nothing like watching shit while taking a shit, okay? Oh it's God. just great. It's I. Thank you for sharing. That's beautiful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Byron uh, can't shit anywhere but his house. <laughs> yeah. I got rules. Um, They're some of them are outlandish. I had he held them for a week once. <laughs> <laughs> it was two days. Um, Vegas. So, <laughs> the responses that I've been getting from uh, the comments regarding my G-spot question yep. about, you know, is it in the same spot for all women and... Um, people are saying that no, it, it most likely isn't. Um, it's probably in the same general vicinity. Right. Um, but yeah. did you guys know that there's a male G spot? Oh boy. You know where the male G spot is? I think I'm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Would you like to enlighten us, no. Jen? <laughs> oh, come on. She's now, already Jen. way past you her comfort level this. now. Yes, she <laughs> is. Soon as she figured out what she just said, she she's looked, like, uh-huh. wait a minute. <laughs> Come on, oh, feeding of the sharks. No, finish, please. Finish. Uh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> the male G spot, like if you, it's like you know where the taint is, you know, you know what a taint is, right? The ABC, it's the between, ass ball connector. No, it's between the ass and the dick or whatever. No, the the ABC. It's, it's taint ass, a taint pussy. It's, it's the taint ABC. ass, a taint dick. The ABC, it's the taint. ass ball connection. It's oh a taint. my god! Oh my god! But anyway, yeah. uh. If you stick your finger into a man's ass uh, about probably an inch, yeah, probably about an inch. Oh, yeah, I'm getting too scared now. <laughs> That's where the G-spot is. It's up in there. Oh, here we go. There, there, there. We got it. It's up in there. <laughs> All right, everybody drink. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yep. Dude, I'm gonna go to wine for this show. So I got a, can, no, I, I got a question for Matt. I got a question for all you guys. Well, oh, even women. She's got questions. What? What's your question? Do, does the size of the vagina or labia matter? Interesting question. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Can you hear that creaking? I mean, I'm there. I mean, there could be a vagina it's, it's, no, so big that you stick your dick in it and you can't feel anything. It's, it's a very thin limb that I'm on. Can you hear it creaking? That's not Bumpa working on that. That's uh-huh. that's that's my limb creaking. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Uh, it's the the response you get to your motion in the ocean no <clears throat> it's a yes or no question uh, okay does so, the size of a vagina and a labia matter like does it turn <coughs> you on well, does, does, does it ma- I, does it turn I, you on either way yeah does does it oh does it God. matter does it make you does, well, does right, one so, size say a bigger a v- bigger vagina versus a smaller vagina I'm sure more pleasure from a smaller vagina, more feeling. So if you, what, what basically what you're saying is if you are. I'm just asking a if, simple question. Right, if, if you it's go down. For guys, it's not that guy. simple. Right, yeah. but, but if, if you go down on, on, on a woman and you go, how am I doing, honey? <laughs> is that going to, is that going to cause a bit of an issue? Uh, it, it might. Sure. Uh <laughs> Gizzard Sorry. said, "Obviously, if I can drive a Mack truck through it, yes." <laughs> Welcome to the show, Jim. <laughs> uh, 
Could it be open a window or something? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's oh, open a window. Everybody's getting it a little warm here. It gets a little here. steamy in here. Yeah. Yeah. I was just, it was gorgeous out today. It was. Hey. Beautiful. Absolutely It was absolutely gorgeous. fantastic. I had my window open in my kitchen all day long. And it was fun. So I'm um, trying to go. I'm looking down. back at our... Um, oh, we had a call. Uh, that's... Oh, this... Is this Chrissy? It's Kelsey. Oh, it's Kelsey. Yeah, that's his Facebook. I got it. It's a secret bat phone. Thank you for calling the Wicked Pisses show. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? All right, Kelsey's on with us. Go ahead, Kelsey. Hello, hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity uh-huh. to jump into this conversation. I'm so glad you called when you did. <laughs> Couldn't have been any more. Perfect, perfect timing. Yeah, right? Tell us. Come on. We want to hear it from you, of all people. All right. So, does it matter? I have actually asked this question to very numerous men because, you know, being working with the girls that I do, we have girls, some are, you know, tiny little petite that have you know, no lips, no anything, protruding, you know, clit, whatever. And then there are some that have these big gaping vaginas that you're like, whoa, you know. <laughs> when the wind blows, it's like, <laughs> 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 it's like you heard flapping, you know. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I didn't mean to reach across you, like but bomb, I, had, you know? I sensed something you, was coming. You felt something was happening. I understand. <laughs> I should just sit there. Byron, Byron. <laughs> Good call. That was a good call. <laughs> All right, go ahead. go ahead, Kelsey. I'm sorry. Tonight. <laughs> so I have asked this to very many people, and they all say the same thing, that you can have a girl with the biggest vagina in the world, but her actual the penetration hole is still very tight, and that it does not matter how big a girl's vagina is. I, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. I think... Because I think visually, well, yeah, I, think I mean, visually, a, a, a big vagina, I think, could look absolutely nasty. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, wants to like, like the nice hard wooden floors, tight little, yeah. I mean, but anyway, wants to like go to play with something and their entire hand goes in before they find the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh all right, I would have a sound effect for that, but right now the volume is turned up really loud, so we can hear you. I'm not oh, gonna, so yeah. here I go. I'm going to give you the sound effect. Oh. <laughs> um. Like, wait a minute! I know the hole is somewhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Um. But I think that you know, if a woman was, it, I don't know. I've had two children myself, and I'm not like. I'm not loosey goosey or anything, but I'm not tidy whitey either. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. No, but I mean, wouldn't you think that the number of children that a woman has would have something to do with that? I have. Well, I think that, that depends too, but... because some women have episiotomies, right? But some, women, you know, can also do Kegel exercises. Of course. At every stoplight, you have to do a Kegel. Every stoplight, oh my God, I'd be doing kegels like every other second. Poor Bumpo's <laughs> over there dying right now. Do, Let me just... do men, do you guys even know what a kegel exercise is? It's kind of like a clench of the butt cheeks there. No, it's not, not the not, butt no, cheeks. No, 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 well, what's between the butt cheeks there? No. It, it's, uh... No. Wrong. No. You're wrong. Okay. For a guy, that's me... what it would It's be, basically but... the vaginal wall. You, you contract the vaginal wall. Contracting I'm doing them right now. <laughs> Tell me every girl listening to this right now isn't doing them well. Are we? And a one and a two. (laughs) (laughs) Are we? uh, Kelsey, Kelsey, the question question I asked earlier, does size really matter? What's your your answer? Well, tell me again. Because I, you know, my memory. We've talked about this before. Okay. I am a, to me, I like a guy between five and a half and seven and a half. Just because I think anything more than that is a total waste because I'm like, whoa, get that thing away. Yeah, wait till you hear the world record. (laughs) Go ahead. Oh, God, no. (laughs) (laughs) No. No. Um, I mean, like, I once had a guy, like, pull out, I once had a guy pull out a penis that was 11 and a half inches, and I was like, oh, God. 
there's just no way. Holy it's shit, I'd be not... like, get that fucking thing away from me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like, it's just not, no. There's nothing well, fun well, you're about a guy. Yeah. That. <laughs> As Ali said, you definitely want to follow. Uh, her segment comes up shortly. Uh, she's going to have some of the Guinness Records type items. And you're going to want to hear what yeah, she has to say. Yeah, if anybody has any questions, you know, as to what is, you know, what might be a record or what a record is, just uh, send me a message on Facebook or Spreaker. Yeah. I have actually think I heard this once before, but, but go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything. Oh, someone's right. someone's got the window. I know open. you're a little hot and bothered. We opened the window for you, Kelsey. Well, uh, someone's got the window open. <laughs> no, no, I'm just actually it's it's the opposite of hot and bothered. I'm like clenching, waiting for that. <laughs> oh my god! Because like, uh, Gizzard saying tightening the wall. I wonder how many OBGYN docs have had requests from guys to throw in an extra stitch. For their ladies. Oh, my God. You know what? I've heard of that. I have heard of that. All right. First of all, I'd like to welcome back Kelsey. It's been a long time. You've been out a little bit sick, been under the weather, and uh, we're just glad to hear that you're doing well. Glad to have you back. uh, Have you back on 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 the scene here. I mean, we've been sitting here wondering, uh, the Black Dog Radio Show, wondering if you have gone to the great beyond. But uh, <laughs> we told them, no, you just were down the street. Yeah, so they are out of commission, a little sick, but thank gosh you're back. And we're very happy to have yeah, you. Yeah, man. <laughs> we miss you, kid. We miss well, you. See, that's, well, see, that's the thing. Like, I get a little sick and I get down and out because who wants to talk to someone when they sound like they're like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> So I'm going down on you. <laughs> yeah, like, no. There's nothing like, all right, welcome to the, I, what do you, <laughs> you know, oh it's goodness. just not, not something that a guy wants to hear when they're paying, what, how much a minute? Two dollars a minute. Two dollars a minute. Is there like any, like, is there, is there like any pre-expense, like the first minute, like five bucks? And two dollars each additional. <laughs> no. This oh, is okay. that's Bumper looking for a deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I stay on for more than thirty minutes, is it reduced to a dollar a minute? Dude, I have seen if you, you buy sixty. If you buy sixty minutes, that's where the savings good. starts. Yeah. So, Chrissy, are you paying yeah. attention? Yeah. <laughs> if I make, if I may, hey, uh, listen, I told Chrissy that if he, you know. If he would ever to call when when we're on the air, you'd hook that up. You know that I would that if he catches me on the air, I'll give him a ten minute call for free. Yeah, I'm yeah, not he, on the air. Off he the won't. Air, he won't do I that though. He won't do that though because of his girlfriend. <laughs> oh no, he'll do it if she's not with him. You know, and she's a good sport. <laughs> yeah, it's, Jay Money's a good sport. She's, well, hey, she's a cool shit. I just want to say that um, I've talked to him and his girlfriend. His girlfriend's kind of fun. She can join. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That was an interesting so, call that night. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Big Diesel said nothing better than shutting down the Diesel Express and listening to the Wicked Pisses show. Also, Diesel doesn't discriminate. Bring on the vagina. <laughs> Black no. Dog says, welcome back, Kelsey. We missed you. Absolutely glad you're back, Gizzard. Yeah, I missed uh, riding in, listening to the uh, to the Black Dog radio show with uh, Kelsey stumping the shit out of those guys out there in Chicago. <laughs> I think it's absolutely fantastic listening to that show mm-hmm. and then just hearing them. And it, is, I believe it's Gizzard who's infatuated with Kelsey, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. My little Gizzard. <laughs> oh, you should never well, say little guys. Right? Yeah. Poor guy's going to be crying. Giz- Gizzard's lizard, you know? Uh, but uh, let me play. That's uh, what they call it, I think. Gizzard's lizard. I think I brought that up. I don't know if that. I, I, I thought I heard that on one of their yeah, shows. Yeah, I, I, I always refer to it that. And, so. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my black dog. The black dog crew. Taking the country uh, by storm. The black dog radio show. They're gonna wait for us to because come once out. you go black, you never go back. <laughs> Not true. That's not true. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I am ah, not ah. by myself in this fucking studio. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to play my sound effect. Love it. 
Hey, where are the white women at? Okay. Oh. Oh. Love it. Thank you so much for that. That oh means a lot. <laughs> it really does. Uh, I've been on my own with that for a while but, now. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I'm going to match that, For like 24 episodes. <laughs> so, i got to match that now. 25. Oh, wait, we got one more. You're listening to The Wicked Christmas Show. If you're not listening to us, you don't know what the fuck you're missing. That's right. There is a story behind that little... Uh, <laughs> there. Uh, make her angry. It's I'm gonna, simple magic. I'm going to say... That was, that was about 20 Passionate. minutes... 20, uh, it took us 20 minutes to do that. We found, I, I played some music, <laughs> and she's I don't like that music. And then she kept on saying, well, I don't know what to say. I don't, and then she'd say something, I don't know what to say. I don't, and then finally I just get her, and it, I, 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 I don't, I forget exactly what I said to Allie, but she got really bullshit at me. And she just, if you don't know, and I think it kind of, I think it kind of worked. Yeah, it just yeah. worked. It was perfect. Yeah, it just it was perfect. Just came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go into you know that was supposed to be like a fifteen minute intro. So fifty six minutes later, um, <laughs> we will now talk about the first topic. It's the two thousand seventeen Deadpool. Ooh, the Deadpool. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We each. Uh, it was everybody's gonna, number one. Yeah, and we, I have a. Oh. Uh, I have a spare whiteboard. That uh, will be put up when uh, after the show. We're going to put that up to keep track all year. And sure. Oh my God, we're going to be crossing fucking names off. That's right. That is so morbid. That's the, that's how you win, that though. Where do we go. win? A grave? Maybe, fuck? maybe a beer. Ah, uh, uh, no, I want um uh, Malibu and yeah, I want you'll get your drink. Malibu. <laughs> All right, all right. You know we'll what? You if you win, I'll get you a pint of Malibu. Okay? Right. I got to tell you, this, this wine. But I don't want to win. I'm not trying to wish death on anybody. I all right. Well, <laughs> so th- what we've decided here is we're going to pick, each pick five, right? Five yep, for I the year. Five, yeah. mm-hmm. And um, you know, we all pull through, and uh, our guest co-hosts can add their picks uh, if they can come up with five. But whatever they come up with, it, we'll add that to the board as well. And you know. We, as mentioned uh, previously, I don't think we mentioned on the show. I did mention on that quick live thing I did earlier. Uh, we have the guest co-host, Jen, tonight. Uh, we stole her from a turning point. Uh, we plan to have a guest co-host, the number four, uh, for most shows, if we can, if not all. Um, you know, we try to get someone for every show uh, to add a fourth, something of a mix. You know, not a, a set fourth co-host, but a guest co-host every day, every show we do. And just really kind of mix things up a bit. Not that we can't mix shit up enough ourselves. And if uh, I may just jump in for a quick second and say that there might be, you know, a week or two or whatever that I might not be on the show because I'm going to be in school and stuff like that yeah. as well. So just to inform right, that, our listeners and viewers about that too. That yeah, and that, so like, that that would that, that kind of works all ways too because it uh, pro- provides some less stress for Allie if that's the case. If she can't make the show, she can't make the show. And yeah, uh, Allie doesn't need any stress. <laughs> oh, and that bell reminds me. <laughs> Hold on. I got a tune first. <laughs> I want to thank Big Dog, uh-huh. you know, Rich. Thank you for uh, that Saved by the Bell fucking theme. I heard, I heard that shit on the oh, way bastard. home from work. Oh, I missed it. She did. On, on, the, on the show, because he's like, this is for Allie. Right, because they heard us. Basically, because he knows it goes up my ass sideways. <laughs> <laughs> he used to wake me up out of, out of a sound sleep. You know, if you fall asleep with the TV oh, on, and, right. and the show that. comes yeah. on, yeah. you know. Oh, my God. So I'd Saturday sit morning. straight up. <laughs> I'd sit straight up, and it would ooh. So anyway, he played that song, but that bell reminded me of it. And I just wanted to thank Rich. Thanks, Big Dog, for that. Appreciate it. Uh, well, I got to say, everybody Thanks out in the, thinking in, of me. in the Chicago land out there, see, back when uh, back when Say by the Bell was on, that was on early on Saturday morning out here on the East Coast. And in Central America, yeah, like, that's uh, where Big Chicago Bumpus is. Says, <laughs> Central America. Central America. <laughs> yeah. We're here uh, in Eastern America. It was like early afternoon. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I, I, do, are... I do have to interrupt. What what um, what are you eating? Smart food. Okay. You want some? There's, no. There's a, mi- there's, there's, there's mystery food product in there that is a year old. It's uh, not happening. The, Someone is the going... Oreo velvet. The red velvet? How about Jen? She's new. 
<laughs> All I do. I'm just doing that, so I don't have to do it. <laughs> All right, so what someone is, is going to bite into oh. something you know that's a year old. I'll do it. In, in our cart of snacks. Bring oh. it. Bring it on. <laughs> don't 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 open everything. I mean, we got we got a lot of stuff over there. That's uh, you know. Put a little date on them, well. Those are good. Are these the old ones? I'm looking for the. I old don't know. They could be old. Well, what's the thing you're talking about? I I'm not gonna say. It's just someday someone's gonna snack on something. No, I was I was just gonna bite it. I thought I was just challenged. No, no, no there's no huh. challenge. I just was saying. <laughs> She's going at it. Well, I, was. I, I, I want to win. I want to win. There's ding, oh. ding, ding. What yeah. do we have for her, Johnny? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we want the old thing. Nice. Oh, right eventually, I want the big thing. And the thing oh, is, God. I can see it now. Bumper's going to be eating it. He'll be chomping away at it. <laughs> no. He said eating Not it. even no. Oh, come on. He'll no. be eating a, a year old bag of potato chips. It's just one of those things no. that, that we do. When a chip goes stale, you can't. There's, but that's no. You that's, can always tell when a chip is stale. Well, they, to tell you the truth, I, I'll open up a bag of chips. If I don't eat that bag of chips in three days, I'm throwing it out. Put it in the oven and bake this it. This has been here a week. Really? Yeah. This has been here a week. That's right. And so it's we perfectly have, never thought fine. About. Yeah. Perfectly fine. It's been here a week. Nice and, we and wrapped up. we didn't have to put it in the week. oven. <laughs> That'll last. Yeah, a week's nothing. Yeah. Oh, my God. i got to give you the a little... The Doritos. Oh, oh, shit. I got my dip in your fridge, too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I think I threw dip that. We have a nice, we have a nice yeah. snack bar going on over here. If we had a, a camera that I could move, I would to show everybody our our snack shelf. Oh, As Byron breaks Christ. a fucking wine glass. Fucking. No, I can't. Gl- it's right. a, it's a showable wine valor uh, wine. Wine valor. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! Shit, it's this all is good. worse. Dude, I have had I don't know how many beers per show, and I'm not like this. Uh, it's this like, bad. Tri- like you're tripping over your own tongue over well, there. Oh you've shit! Been, you've oh. been drinking most of the wine, so I have. Oh, oh, she's got <laughs> the skills. Oh boy! I like the sound effect. She's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a caper on this one. Yeah. Uh, so let me get into she's my. Uh, right in. 2017 <laughs> picks for the Deadpool. All right, Bumpa, go ahead. All right. There. Oh, who would I pick? First one, Hugh Hefner. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's that a is good a good one. one. Okay, George H. W. Bush, George Senior. Oh yeah, mm, I, had I haven't seen him lately, so oh. he just had a birthday. Did like he, ninety. Did he jump on a plane this year, or was it last year? Oh yeah, yeah last, that was last year. I don't know about this year. Um, Bob Barker. I thought he was dead. I yeah, I you're thought going he died for the already. old ones. You're going for the old ones. That's who you want. Yeah. Look yeah. at Carrie Fisher. She wasn't that old. George Michael something. or Prince. Exactly. 53, George Michael. And I know that yeah, thanks but, to TMZ. Bob Barker, 93 years old, yeah. born in 1923. Still alive. Still alive. Right, I know that. Bill yeah. Cosby. Spay and neuter your pets, please. So Bill Cosby's on your list, huh? Yep. Okay. And last but not least, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, uh, shit. You know what? I, I like Queen Elizabeth. I think you she's know had her, a good reign. She's had a good reign. You know her husband is older than her. Yep. He's 95, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. So, do you want me to go next? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go next that. And then if, uh, Okay, so I've got Betty White, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> very, okay. very, very sad. Jerry Springer. No. Too healthy. Michael, no. Michael Douglas. Yeah, that's a good pick. Harrison just, Ford. No. Harris, uh, Harrison Ford. All right, I might, I'll give you some points on that. And this is my fucking list. John Malkovich. And I'm giving you a point. Malkovich. Malkovich. Oh, Ooh, that's a stretch. You that's a why, real though? stretch. You know why? Because look at, like, um, what was his fucking name? The Soprano guy, John uh, James Gandolfini. Yeah, but he's also he like 300 or something. Fucking, he was in his fucking prime or whatever, and he... Had a massive heart attack. So you never know when your time is up, when it's your fucking number. You never know. It doesn't matter how old you are. So that's why I put John Malkovich. All right. He's, I think, the youngest. Well, I don't know. Holy shit. That's how like serial killer scrawl right there. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's, 
I'm looking at you. You should see my shrine at home. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. You guys got to see this. Hey, put that up in the camera there. What? Show that list (laughs) on the camera. Oh, oh, yeah. Get it in there, good. Yeah, there oh, you yeah. go. Holy shit, that's serial killer <laughs> scrawling. That is serial killer scrawling right there. Oh. If you're if you're you know fortunate enough to have Facebook Live, and we're fortunate enough to have it up and running, been running so far. Yeah, so far really we good. never know. It is charter cable, so yeah. you never know. I like them, but I lo- I hate them. Uh, Live from the Minute Book Building. <laughs> I like that voice. Yeah, I'll have to record that. Yeah, yeah. See? Definitely nice Get a voice. few cuts from her. Uh, Byron, what's your list, man? All right, my list. We got five people, right? Yep. Uh huh. So, does he even have one? He just whipped. No, he's just making nope. it up now. You better remember it. You better write it down and remember because it's got to go. Yeah, on you got it because we're going to be crossing right, the names out as got we pass it in my away. Google Keep. Okay. okay. Love my Google Keep. Okay. Oh, hey, remind me. Drive. Google, yep. Google you Drive. install that Re- on your thing? Remind me. Cause... <laughs> okay. No, people, I'm sorry. I just got a new laptop yesterday, so. <laughs> I couldn't even work the other one. <laughs> I got a new one. <laughs> oh, hey. All right. It's the first wine Let's... purge for the night. Yeah, Deadpool, what are your five picks? All right. Oh, God. Thank you. All right, burp them like a baby. All right, so <laughs> my first one... Talk about Carol Channing. Carol Anybody Channing. Remember Carol Isn't she Channing? dead? I Not she yet. Was, I thought she was dead too. She's still alive. I think well. she's dead. All right, let's let's Google this. <laughs> oh, you know, it, it, had you done your list like I did? <laughs> January thirty first, nineteen twenty one, age ninety five. Throw me in there too. Well, I say I researched every single one I put down. Carol Channing. Still alive. Very good. You think that I don't do my... Uh... I know you don't. Go ahead. Four more. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember <laughs> the fucking Wicked Pistol hotline have... <laughs> number. Is <laughs> <laughs> on the cliff? Yes, I do. Yes, it's on the cliff. Yes, but if you look at it every time, it's such <laughs> an easy <laughs> number. Oh. And that number is 774-314-7044. If you'd like to call and join us in the conversation, <laughs> talk to Kelsey, talk to Jen, Byron Bumper, myself. Speaking of which, Kelsey's on the line or... Oh, yeah, she's I like, am. Kelsey. Hey, yeah, Kelsey. You're so right. fucking quiet, yeah, right. Biatch. Well, well I've been waiting. You guys told me last night to get my Deadpool guys going, and I oh, got right. them. All right, All right, good. Right, so well, we're we'll waiting for nice. Byron to make right, up so the rest got, of his. Carol, uh, right. first one. Bill Cosby. Oh, right, we, we got both picked that one. Bill All right. Cosby. There's a lot of stress on his... Uh, That's right. That's why I picked him. Oh, is there really? I didn't know that. If you've seen a picture of him lately, he looks like he looks like someone's backed over him with a bus. Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's ragged. All right, so you went with. Uh, so you said Bill Cosby. I'm writing it yeah. down for you. Oh, I've got it all here. Oh, you, oh that's right. Oh, yeah. that. I'm sorry. I, so I'm gonna kind of say sorry. So you went with uh, with um, w- which Douglas? Michael. Yeah, I'm going with Kirk is dying first. Kirk Douglas. Oh no way. Michael's already. Michael, 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 Michael just already had cancer. He had a hundred. Michael, like, Michael Kirk is ninety nine. Kirk is he, is his father. Yeah, all right, he's right. ninety nine years old. Yeah, right. right. That's Kirk. Well, my, Kirk. Yes. That's, he's, Kirk is ninety nine. Um, right, he just celebrated. It was a big thing. He just celebrated Michael, his who was in uh, the Candelabra right. movie on yeah, HBO, prostate cancer, which was fantastic. Yep. Yeah. By the way, survived it was, prostate it was cancer. Very good. I'm uh, gonna just. Interrupt for a second. No, go um, right ahead. Yeah. Black Dog Radio Show said, uh, we need an autographed pic of the Wicked Pisses show for our Wicked Pisses shrine. No shit. Big yeah, Diesel we'll Big Diesel said he wants one just for the Diesel Express. Yes, we'll get one. You know, in, in, in one of my past jobs, no one wanted my autograph. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I can see why, but, you know. Okay, BRB know. people, I need to refresh my drink. All right, so you're going to gonna refresh your drink? All right, come on, keep on your list. I'm going to keep on going with my list. All right, so this is someone who is close to who I want gone. (laughs) Billy Graham. The evangelist. Yeah, I know who he is. Want him gone. Oh, boy. He He won't won't go. And uh, apparently there's a theme with my last two. I got dated to Billy Graham. And Pat Robertson. I don't know if anybody here 
watches the 700 Club? No. Oh, right. my God. Right? Oh. I suggest if you're ever stuck at like 3 in the morning, you're <laughs> You are so awake, you can't go to sleep. There's nothing that is going to stop you from waking, from staying awake. Watch the 700 Club. I should have done that last night. Oh, my God. Pat Robertson is, I'm going to say it, fucking insane. The guy is it's him and he's his, gone. Him and his wife, right? No, he's, no. It's well, the him. wife probably kicked he, bucket They always him. have a cute girl on stage with him who's just sitting there. Now, again... This is this is a visual, so if you're watching on Facebook, I'm going to do this. Ready? They're always going like this. <laughs> They're just nodding and smiling. You're nodding and smiling. I think his face is stuck that way. Though. His plastic is surgery. Is he still stuck on his five? No, I'm. I'm I've got my Pat Robertson. Four. Pat Robertson will die in 2017. I am convinced of this because the man is evil. <laughs> Anybody who says. Anybody who believes anything other than what he believes is is, is bad. Robertson is, is 86 now, so. Yeah, but yeah. he's a rough 86. Yeah, yeah. But I, I got to say, you know, I am. He's going to live forever. Just because I know. He, that's the type of guy that ends up living. Yeah, that's the you unfortunate know, thing. Well, it's like Billy Graham is up there, and I want him gone. I want him, but, uh, so nice, I want him gone. Yeah, well. Hey, li- anybody listening? Uh, that doesn't mean go out and get them. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> just just let's let's see what happens. It's right, okay. Yeah. Let's let's keep this uh, real. Uh, uh, <laughs> what else you got? Well, should we That's it. I got, okay, you got Carol Channing, Cosby, Kirk Douglas. Yeah, he's going to go before Michael. Right. I've been watching a lot of uh, Streets of San Francisco. <laughs> Great show, by the way. Is Carl Malden in that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, He's there, a right? Quinn Martin production, by the way. All right. Carl Martin Malden is. Uh... Ooh, dead. good question. I think he's dead. Is Carl Malden? I don't think he. I think he died is. a couple of years ago. You still have a number five. You know, you know, no, he does. got him. Pat Robertson. Four I thought it was four. Was no, four? He, the other one was uh, what's his name? Graham, whatever his name. Oh is. God. Carl Malden died two thousand nine. Okay, so. Uh, no, That's but but my five That's are going to be uh, Carol Channing, who's uh, uh, you guys. Do you know Carol Channing? I know Carol yeah. Channing. Yeah, the name I can't. I'm trying to. She's uh, kind of a an old school actress. She's got the kinda. short hair. Mm-hmm. She's, got, she's the got She got that kind of voice. Oh, yeah. Who kind of talks like this? Oh you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. no, no. Yep. Yeah. I got. I had to do that. I just one of those things. Uh, Kirk Douglas, Billy Graham. Uh, I yeah. want his crusade to finally stop. And Pat Robertson from the 700 Club. Oh. These people begging for your money in the middle of the night. <laughs> Those hey, religious I'm up, folks. I'm, I'm up all night. And I watch this crap on TV, and there's nothing on TV Those at 3 in the morning. It's, Those religious folks will get you every time. Man, you know? That's what kills me is, is religion. Now, I'm fine if you believe in it. I'm fine if you... But don't do what these people do and tell you that you're evil if whatever you believe is against what they believe. You know? They're letting the terrorists win, they say that. Oh, yeah, letting <laughs> the terrorists win. Yeah. yeah. And... uh all right, let's roll into the segment. I had several issues. I we doing uh, segments now, right? Oh, let's just get right into it. We're like Damn. only an hour behind. Really? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> should have the show should have been over by now. Um. Oh yeah, remember? And I please forgive me, Jen. That's all I can say. Um, last week we started talking about things: the glory hole, the glory bed. You know, went that route. Um, Byron brought up an awesome funny point on the glory hole is that why would you just go in there blind and somebody could be with the, the snip big clippers you know right the hedge clippers the hedge exactly hedge <laughs> <laughs> so but going with that yeah that is, fucking owl but going with that okay now like say Chrissy is a perfect example Chrissy goes to the glory hole convention oh he's okay? gonna go right in that fucking he, glory hole right he goes <laughs> he goes out to the uh you know, Motel 6, Glory Hole Night. All right. And I have to interrupt. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm going to fire you. No. <laughs> Jen, Jen is new. Jen is yeah. new. She she, she doesn't exactly know. Chrissy. Chrissy. I understand And doesn't that. exactly know what, 
Why? <laughs> Anything a, to do oh. with sex, Chrissy's game. Because Chrissy mm-hmm. called oh. in one night. Mm-hmm. He, oh, he's he said, playing a glory hole. Can, yeah. can I he tell said, it? Can I tell <laughs> it? <laughs> Please, yeah, go ahead. Can I tell yeah. it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. now, they're talking about a glory hole. Can you move your microphone, Byron? I can't see your face. By the way, uh, she didn't know what a glory hole was. I had was no at that clue point. what a glory hole was. I can, so, I can figure it out. So <laughs> I needed, I needed an explanation. I didn't know what an, what it was. So uh, apparently, it's a hole in the wall that guys stick their <laughs> dicks in and not all whatever. So, but this guy Chrissy calls and um, he said, not "What you. did he say? The best thing." The, the most exciting the, the part. The most exciting part. The most exciting part. Was not knowing whether it was a man or a woman, and you wouldn't know until you hit the stubble. Oh, oh God, it's awful. Oh. I mean, hey, two each oh. is How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, By the way, I, I also... Kelsey? Yes. Do you have your Deadpool? Oh, that's right. Sorry, Kelsey. I do. All right, what's your deputy, All right, Joe? Joe. Can we say the subject? Okay. Yeah, we'll you know, we go back to her, too. My bad. <laughs> oh. Okay, mine were... I agreed with Betty White. Yeah. Oh. All right, here we go. All right, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Writing off the dirty we old We should lady. write down everybody's, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Well, I can go in and listen. I'll listen to the show at this part and write out. All right. Catch up on Who hers. else, Kelsey? I also agreed with Kirk Douglas. Oh, oh, that was Kirk. I said Michael. Same track of mind here. I said Michael because he had cancer already. Yeah, but and he, he looked right. like shit. Yeah, no, yeah, he's Kirk rocking. He's rocking. Ninety nine. Kirk is ninety nine years old. Yeah, yeah. But, but Michael. But Michael. Michael. Michael's Michael pretty cancer. weathered too. But yeah, Kirk is a strong fuck. But you know, hey. hey okay. He's fucking Spartacus. Charles man. Manson. Yeah, you know what? He's on his oh, way yep. out. I Ooh. think. Yep. I think He'll be he the first one sh- to go out. You know what? I they saw wouldn't it. approve him for a medical procedure because Manson's of his age or something. Yeah, Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wasn't he in the hospital? Go ahead. That Wasn't he in the hospital? Right anyway. Manson did. He was in the hospital, but they refused him um, treatment or the procedure. They wouldn't do the procedure for fear of his health. Now, this because is because of his age. Yeah. That's according to TMZ, right? Um. Hey, I'm not sure. <laughs> that was. I'm not to sure. Allie. It might, it might have been. It might have been one of the rag mags in the fucking super mile suit. Uh, super mile supermarket. Super mile. Yeah, the super mile. New segment according to Allie. She had a, a refresher stir there. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Um. No, nope, we gotta have a drink. Single. Single. All, All right. right. Single. Single. All right, go ahead there, Kelsey. Black Top right. Radio Show. Okay, go ahead. And then I'll do the... Okay. Judge Wapner. Mm. Alexa, nobody's talking to you, bitch. <laughs> okay, so Alexa, Alexa, Alexa got a little mouthy. <laughs> Alexa got a little mouthy. It's okay. Judge Wapner, that's a good pick. Yeah, Judge Wapner. I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead, too. No, he's, he's not. He's up there, though. Wow. Yeah. He is not dead. He's 96 years old no and still shit. alive. So you did your homework correctly, too. Uh, See, the he's... funny thing is, is yep. I didn't have to still look up alive. one fucking celebrity he's because I know about celebrities. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, we got... <laughs> Okay, so my last one, and, and Allie's going to love this. The final. Oh. <laughs> She's totally gonna love this because uh, I'm ooh. picking somebody that Byron? has nothing to do with age, <laughs> oh. and I'm totally Stop picking kidding. it because what they've been talking about on TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? My last one is totally. I'm going with Chris Brown. Oh. Chris Brown? Ooh. Why? What's going on with Chris Brown? Oh, his career is in shambles. Because he's like, he's like fighting with uh, hey, everybody. They're like doing a live street match with him fighting on pay-per-view and Damn, I didn't know that Chris yeah. Brown see that's yeah. what happens yeah. when you don't have cable <laughs> really yeah, he got arrested yeah, a while so back I'm... a big like a standoff of police at his house I thought he was a little ratty yeah, he, he is he is but he, he is right but he's now. a fucking punk a he's punk. got an yeah. attitude right. yeah and everybody's wanting to fight against him and right he's now, a woman so, like, he's a woman beater too that's a good pick I like that one because you're right he will end up Shot, murdered, or kill himself, or something. Yeah. Wow. yeah, so I'm going with Chris Brown. The Won't saddest, saddest shit crazy. is the saddest shit. You know, is when they're really young, and 
have such promising careers. You know, like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Whitney Houston. Michael Jackson was 55? No. 50. He was still in the prime of his life. Yeah, he was. Totally... He was in he was just fantastic a physical yeah. shape. Yeah. He was Jackson a was phenomenal artist. He did a lot of good for the for, for children, you know, starving <laughs> children. After for you starving them. For starving children. That's not confirmed. You, you, you nor want to color denied. Uncle Michael? It's not confirmed it, nor denied. It's not confirmed, but nor you know, denied. It's it's that it was weird. You're right, but it, it, it was weird. Yeah, it may have been, but they said he had this Peter Pan complex. Complex, which he may very well have had a Peter Pan. Complex. They made it up just for him. Right? The there's there's a group of people no, out there who no. would call him a Skinner. Absolutely not, because you yeah. know what? I didn't have a childhood Skinner. either. You know, and I have you don't moments and times where I get like immature and silly and stuff like that. That's inner city. Like What's once it? a week yeah. when I'm here. Hmm? You have the inner child Never mind. complex. Now, I, I got to tell you, ah. Jackson, musical genius. I loved his stuff from the 70s when he went insane and started abusing children. And you know he was doing it. He was paying people off. All right, what's up? <laughs> Big Dog wants to know, who here has partaken in a glory hole? <laughs> I can proudly say he not just me. said I. He just said I. I can proudly say not I. <laughs> so I have no. never done a glory hole. You've never participated in one. I have not, but you've been invited to do such. <laughs> no, there is a. Hey, come over um, for a glory hole party. <laughs> there's a um, adult store here that they have. You can go downstairs and you can watch like the Peep Show videos. Oh and my! And they God. have what they. What two of their booths has what they call a see-through wall, ah. and you can hit a button, and if the person on the other side hits the button too, y'all can actually watch each other in your booth. What? Ah. Yes. <laughs> All right. I wasn't compl- I mean, I was paying attention, but I wasn't. So, well, really what are you saying? Is it when you get a chance, text him the address to that place? <laughs> <laughs> I I page, to like, well, no. fucking if I want to do that, oh. I just wag my fucking blang in the window. I mean, come on. It's... Kelsey, do give me, uh, mm-hmm. when you get a chance, send me a, yeah, a message with your floor? list. Yeah. All right, your Deadpool floor list, floor? so I can uh, add it to our board. Do you want mine as well? Yeah, you, Hi, you want to have it. Just take a screenshot of the list you have. and then. Don't have to... oh, That's sure, too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it one by one. and. <laughs> Uh, so Jen, do you have any uh, any names? You know, it doesn't have to be five if you don't have any. But are there are a couple that come to your mind or oh, she's got head? some. Well, I you know I just let kind of I I wasn't aware of the show prep oh, that I needed know. to do. <laughs> so when you guys mentioned it, the first name that came to my mind was Madonna. Oh wow, that's that a is good. a good pick, you know, because that's one of the ones that would be like iconic and one that nobody would really think about. Yeah. Take everybody yeah. by surprise. What has she been doing? So. Um, second one is Bill Clinton. Mm. Uh, I gotta say. Uh, uh. Well, he's, you know, he's looking thin. He's looking sick. You know? yeah. He's not looking good. No. Neither was Hillary ever. <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry, no. Go ahead. And I had a third one, but I can't. Oh, it was Beyonce. Ooh. One now, can, why Beyonce? What made you reach for that one? One can hope. She just seems a little unstable. Yeah. So. So you think she may pass away with the toast? You know what? You know what gets me though. Well, well Whitney you never Houston know. style. I, well, I, I don't she know. loves that toaster. But I, I do. I, just, I agree with the kind of weird. unstable. You know, to the lack of stability. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. it's it's always like the ones that you don't expect. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. um, for instance, perfect example is Robin Williams. Yeah. Sad. Exactly. So right. fucking sad and tragic. He was my favorite actor, my favorite comedian, and he was an alcoholic, but he suffered from severe depression as well. And Uh, he's got that disease, well, he had that disease, that really obscure disease, so... Mm -hmm. He he wasn't very well, but he put on a good front. Well, that's the thing a lot of people thought, you know... It's too bad that he passed the way that he did, you know? He said for a guy who had had so many friends, yet felt so lonely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, quick quiz for this. Can I take 
No, Can I take one minute of your guys' time? Go for, for it. No, oh, you cannot. Gosh. Who the fuck do you think you are? Where do you think you're calling, bitch? This ain't the Black Dog oh. Radio Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, kid. So, go? just to let you guys know, I have no idea if this has to do with the show going on right now, but I, as you guys know, I created a Facebook page today. Yeah. And since the show has been on... I have added 45 new friends. Oh, shit. Wow. Very nice. Just since the show's been on tonight? Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Damn. They want you, Kelsey. Well, you know, you should post on it right now that you're talking on our show. Steve, our show's more popular. I have it. Well, that's why I'm wondering if it is because I've been posting all day about the show. Yeah. So if anyone here is listening to listen just to Kelsey, uh, please feel free to chime in. Let us know. Give us a call. Give us a call. Just uh, we can use a break. Yeah, post it on Facebook. Go to the bathroom. Do stuff like that, and uh, you can do what you're going to do. But uh, (laughs) um, Black Dog Rich says he almost put Beyonce on as a wild card for his suicide list. So yeah, really, yeah. Yeah. So you're on with Black Dog. (laughs) Late night, (laughs) Mister Ed. Your turn, Mister Ed was talking about how MJ was picking up kids as if he were skipping through the meadow plucking dandelions mm-hmm. hey everybody put your um huh. i'm sorry i didn't mean to nope, that, that was everybody okay. put your um your deadpool on the wikipedia page the wikipedia messenger sorry okay yeah send it to me i'll get that it way I'll just put it on the wikipedia messenger that way it's right there and everybody can see now it we put it right yeah yeah no i'll put it on our board so as the year goes we'll and you know what i hated saying harrison ford as well as Betty White, but Harrison Ford especially. But I think the reason that I said him was because um, he's just so iconic and so popular and <laughs> loved by so many people. Oh, you're right about that. Mm. You know, and he's just, he's had an extremely fucking phenomenal career. We lose at least one really good superstar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Whether it's in the music industry or the the movie industry, the film industry, you know. Sorry, this one's going out to Mr. Ed here. Don't stop till you get enough. Oh, oh. oh geez. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Love sorry. Me. I, I, I think that was the pinnacle of his career. Well, Black Dog Radio Show said that he almost put Beyonce as a wild card on his list for suicide. Wow. Yeah. We Echo. Just... Yeah, that's all right. Late night with Mr. Red says, uh, MJ, M- Michael Jackson was picking up kids as if he were skipping through the meadow, oh, wait. plucking dandelions. Yeah, she's, just, she's reading the same thing. Yeah. Wait, why did that move? I had my finger reality. on the monitor and it moved. Why? Well, maybe it's don't a touch screen. touch screen you don't know it? It said touch. it wasn't a touch screen. Well, touch something. Find I'm out. I'm touching it. It's not doing anything, but it just moved a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thing previews me All right, I think we uh, have enough right. rum. I have a possessed laptop. Well, we I think right we may have enough rum for the night. I love yeah. my webcam. Sure. I am going to uh, continue on to the glory hole thing. All right. Again, what we are talking about, may you filter and not the glory hole, Chris, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Go into your funny. part. Snip it. Okay? So you go in blindly, and on the other side, someone ah. snips it off. Now, in a case like Chrissy. Very dull. case like Chrissy, who has a significant other. All right. How do you explain that to your significant other? What you know? Now you got to go to the hospital, obviously. I'm sorry, I lost my dick uh, down yeah. the street. <laughs> well, where, where was your dick? Oh, well, it, it just fell off. I, I pushed it into the wall, or beside, in between. I broke some, it. Yeah, I put it in a hole in the plywood, and it, a, you know, how do you explain that? I'm sorry, how would you explain any chopping type? wood and? <laughs> They uh, literally, I, I literally <laughs> chopped <yeah>. wood. <laughs> but I'm just thinking, like, if you damaged it, I how do you explain you damaged it? I don't even feel good talking about this. It's <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's weird. You get a oh, stomach God. ache. All the guys are crossing their legs right now. Yeah, I mean, I got my oh legs my crossed too, too. I uh, may have peed myself. <laughs> I'm not sure. Kind of. So, yeah. Oh, I, God. Uh, so, um, you know, and obviously nobody wants to eat a... <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Nobody's going to eat the poop for $5 million, right? So uh, What? No. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> That's not happening, man. 
Oh, I'll put it. I'll, I'll go out I'll on a plate, limb here I'll and say I will eat a mushroom. I mean, unless five there's million dollars before you oh, eat a plate of steam. Yeah. I wouldn't. A steam pile. I wouldn't. There's nothing before a steam shit. I would never <laughs> fucking <laughs> eat shit okay. ever. For five million, you just had to take one little spoonful. Oh, hey, Sorry. shit's going. I'm trying to pull my chair in because she's. Hey now. Look, one. All right. You had one spoonful. So you just have to take out. one spoonful of what? Of poop. Of shit. All right, I'll, for I'll go. Five million. One. For five million. Okay. okay. You know what? I. But do you have to chew it, or can you just swallow it really can, quick? With there's it, nothing about with you a chaser. Chew. No, just, can you, just. Yeah, you could do whatever. Just you. You have to consume. Uh, all right. One spoon. Fine. Fuck Would it. Would you do that? Five million dollars. So five million. Take a spoon. Like, oh, mm, yeah. You probably just swallow it right down. Yeah, I just swallow it right down uh, with a fucking chaser. Uh, Goodbye. Hello. Five million dollars. Goodbye, everybody else. Oh, uh, and you know what? Yeah. You, you probably do all right with that, as far as. You know, I would gag and I probably puke after. I would be gagging and puking for oh, fucking yes. days. Yep. I'm mm-hmm. thinking I'd be puking for days because I would keep remembering I have shit in and my mouth. And any time I try to go my stomach. eat something. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's gagging now. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. And That's, I was... Uh, I can't oh. believe how much you D- like Diesel, that. right there. See, that That <laughs> makes me lose now, it. You, you diesel die, you kill me. I can't say it. Diesel, no. big diesel saying <laughs> swallow it. No. And of course, you have to swallow it. You have to swallow. That's the thing. No, but you're killing me because you're reminding me right, of sir. that video of the um, the husband gagging when he was telling that oh, story yeah. about his uh, the, the person in the like store that. that was that was really smelly with bo, oh, now, and he see, was get, gagging through the whole store. Well, five million with a little spoonful. Hell, uh, big bites and swallow fast. He'll yeah. Well, that Mr. Ed would do a big bites and swallow fast for five million. <laughs> Gives us well, to make this, sure there are corn and peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> this goes back to the make me puke. Oh, oh, wait, 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 that would be, yeah, oh. be my luck. I'd end up dead from doing it, too. Oh. You know? Oh. Oh. Alright, so does anybody know what a hot Carl is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's a yes. That was beautiful. Oh. That was oh. a yes. That was a massive oh. gag, is what that was. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Oh. A couple more. All right, so none of you guys have ever been to a jackass movie with Bumpa. I did. Oh, don't no. Wow, well, man. And they had the uh, that fart oh. mask thing. There. Oh my god, I I was gagging oh. yeah. when they did that. He did too. Oh and, uh, yeah, but did you did you actually hurl? Almost. Oh, I had I spit up a little bit, but <laughs> right into his popcorn bag. Oh. It was bad. Don't, I'll do it right now. Don't. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, so those of you who don't know what a hot Carl oh. is, and I know, oh, only God. know this because mm. at a bar one night, it was, you know, hold on. Stop whining. There you go. Wait, this will make you feel better. Toughen Ready? up. You're this big fucking badass oh. dude, and you're, you're gagging over a fucking shit mask. Oh. Are you kidding me? I can't do that kind of smell. That's just I can do so much. You have two I can do so much. children that are in diapers, That's right? That's different. That's different. It's still different. shit. No. Different. It's still oh, shit. Different. My kids in diapers are different. No. No. There's shit a, is shit. Let me tell you something. I heard a kid just one time. Just because you know what they're eating. I heard I heard a kid one time dropping a deuce into a diaper. That noise. Haunts me to this day. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no, I was seriously, seriously. Just, just last week, I'm driving down the street. It was kind of a, uh, it was a warmer day, and this kid, it just is walking down with his mom, and his mom has got a, his sister in a stroller, and he's holding the kid, and then the kid just stops and squats. Oh. I knew what was going on. Oh. It was that noise. <laughs> going on I, that's that's a noise that you just don't forget you know can, can i touch on a subject for a second yeah potty training yeah now i don't or well not even just potty training but like potty training pacifiers you know when you have yep. your kids like for instance, all right, when my daughter was 18 months, the day she turned 18 months old, I took the pacifier away. Um, potty training her was a fucking nightmare. Uh, the first time she ever shit in the toilet, she wouldn't shit in the toilet again for another three months because she turned around and looked what came out of her and screamed. Caitlin, I hope you're listening tonight. <laughs> I didn't say her name, did I? 
Huh? Well, you don't have to, but you should. I said my daughter. I didn't say my. I didn't say oh, her name. Like yeah, you didn't say like did. which one, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Now I forget what I was talking about. If I can't join him. I join. Him. Taking a deuce can't in the beat toilet. Him, join him. Oh yeah, she was. She was scared to death. Um, but I still forget what my point was. Because <laughs> of what she saw. Or... Yeah, yeah. Like she couldn't believe it came out of her. <laughs> she, no, seriously. She was like, ah! She wouldn't poop in the potty for like three or four months after that. I mean, you did. Oh, that, that was basically my point. Yeah, you, you you have twins. And there's shit here, shit there, shit everywhere. No, he's Come good, on. He's when good. they were little, when they were it's smaller. Twins? I have twins. When, it's when different they were when smaller, it's kids. It's when just... they were smaller, you, you know how it is, the explosive ones, where oh, the yeah. shit goes right up the back of the diaper, it goes all the way up the oh, fucking back. The rooster like, tail. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. rooster tail. How did you? I would, I would have loved oh. to have been a fly on the wall to watch you change one of those kind of diapers. The first, uh, the first two diapers it. was really tough. <laughs> first couple. How old are well, twins? The worst is They're when four. The four. Them, um, you know, Sorry, as yeah. Well, it's easier now. They're on their. They're not rooster tailing as much anymore. <laughs> well, no, then it was different. <laughs> the early, day, the early days was different because at first, you know, it was the first experience doing it. And when you like, you get a little on your finger. I mean, that is. Oh no, 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 no. That's not happening. No, no. If that child came from you, and your finger ended up in a little bit of poo, come on. Listen, I have. You know what's going into that baby. I have a cat. So you know it's coming out. And I get, I get the heebie-jeebies when I get cat food. That's a cat. Oh my god. I have twins and. Another one that's 11 months younger. So I oh, spent two geez. years changing diapers. Damn. And they'd throw in my, up in my bed, and I'd want to throw up. If they oh. poop everywhere, it's fine. I throw it's up. It's just a throw up. You know throw what? up is even worse. The, the sound yeah. of somebody throwing up or gagging gets me. Yeah. Or okay. even if they spit. But it's just blood, shit, piss, anything <laughs> else, I'm fine. <laughs> Bump is waving himself right now, ju- trying right, not to fucking gag. Watch this, watch this, this ready. When I was a kid, I, I, I had a, a bunk bed, and my brother was in the bed below. I had spaghetti O's one night. I ate a lot of them that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you had to say, he yeah. gagged. Oh, my God. I, I threw up. And it just pur- and my brother happened to be laying down. Oh on my! The- you threw up on your brother. Yeah, I threw oh. up on top of my brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope that would send make him a me- Christmas card every year. That would make Oof, me cute. Was- <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Merry Christmas. That's hell of a Christmas card. <laughs> oh yeah, he slept through the entire thing. Oh, my, my mom. God. Oh yeah, God oh. yeah. My mom was cleaning him up, and he was just out like a light. You know, <laughs> it's oh. just bad. That's oh. Can um. Can I get to my uh, my Guinness Book thing? I think the uh, Guinness Book of World Records. I I think we made Bumpo get that kind of <laughs> oh yeah, Kevin like yeah. taste in his mouth that he's not gonna say. <laughs> well, yeah, well like, that's why I'm just thinking. I just want to call a couple of things I saw at uh, okay no- uh, Northeastern University just started a uh, Institute of Cannabis. <laughs> you hear about that Northeastern what? University I heard School about of that. Pot. I heard about that. Awesome. We got a program on uh, fucking for twenty twenty four seven. Woohoo! For the legalized purposes. Yes, only that. Right. Medi- <laughs> medicinal, strictly. Uh, but nah. and again, you know, like we talked about, though, a lot of people don't realize, <laughs> and it's a federal law. If you get a medical marijuana card, you cannot. Probably ever, but you cannot get a license to carry a firearm. Well, that's okay because I can't get a firearm anyway. <laughs> but well, yeah, but you know, but uh, because they're all locked in my safe right now. I know, right? Oh, by <laughs> after God. the show, let me hold one. Oh my God, yeah. let me hold one. Oh, yeah. you don't understand? Fire, yeah, like, can, can you help? Can you help uh, commit I'm a felony? Like... <laughs> uh, um, and ooh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, send your quick... Deadpool. Who? Messenger. Oh, the messenger. What do you got? Send me a list on the messenger. Oh, I'll send you a message. Yeah, I, um, the Fort Lauderdale shooting. Remember that? Yeah. 
the airport, Fort Lauderdale Airport. Oh, I heard about oh, that. Oh, the Missouri. jackass who just kind of went nuts with a gun. Yeah, did there. you see there was like a yeah. video of after he came out of the bathroom, he's just walking. All of a sudden, he pulls the gun out of his waistband. Didn't see the video. Yeah. And so a lot of people are hmm. pissy about airport security now because of that. That has nothing to do with airport now? security. You understand. Now? No. Airport security has been like it's up the wazoo since 9-11. Yeah, but I mean, people are complaining they, that airport security didn't work in this case. It did work. People don't understand what what occurred. The guy got his claim after the flight. He checked his, the gun in at before like he's supposed to. Right. Then he got the bag, whatever the case back after. Then he, you know, he, when you pick up your luggage, that's how you get it. When you get, land to the where your destination is, right. you pick up your gun. Right. So that's what he did. He picked up the gun, went to the bathroom, came out. That's when he started shooting people shortly after that. So he he. Where that, did he so he, he had a legal license Florida? to carry. He transported. Well, no, it. that's that that's the real issue. Is it? Um, now, but what about state to state flying through the different states with a weapon? You can. Do I that. mean, because but well, don't so tra- don't laws going, vary or is it just go tra- by federal? He could transport. Can transport. He was going home. He was up. He was in Alaska. He was going home to Puerto Rico. Okay, he's a he's an Army National Guard reservist or whatever. Um, anyway, while in Anchorage, he was in Alaska. While in, in Alaska, he got seen. He had mental issues. He was telling the FBI, oh, shit. telling the FBI, Homeland Security, whoever Shocker. that, hmm. whoever that uh, ISIS was trying to recruit him. So, but but I guess the feds dropped the ball. Is a big thing. F- FBI really didn't follow through. Somehow he ends up in a psych so, ward. Yeah. At which time, uh, the, I guess the doctor did rule uh, that he, you know, they, he actually lost whatever his license to carry. But basically, after he got out of the hospital, he boarded the plane, went back, you know, was flying back. So on his flight, got flew to Fort Lauderdale. Mm-hmm. When he got to Fort Lauderdale, got I don't know if he was staying there for a short time, whatever. But it's not up to the airline as far as where you're going. You know, you transport your gun legally, yeah. like you said. So he did. By the rules, he did everything right. As Loaded far as by the airport, kinda... by the airport, he did everything right. You check your, you check in your gun, go to wherever you're going, you pick it up, you claim it. Okay, that is what he did. And then at the other end, that's when he did it. He started shooting and killing people. <laughs> that has nothing to do with airport security. Airport security protocols were followed to the T. He did everything to the T. And what where that took place is an unsecured area where you get where you claim your bags is unsecured. Anybody mm-hmm. come in and help pick your bags up, taxis, yeah. all that. Just like the, the ticketing areas. When you first go into the airport, it's unsecured. It's only the gates before boarding a plane that you have to go through security. So these people are all sc- well, you screaming should, you about... You could transport a firearm if they're not on the ball for everything. You, you do, do curbside check-in. Yeah. Put your luggage in. Have a gun in there. Yeah. Claim it. it luggage claim. Yeah. Boom. You know, you're you're armed again, and you're killing people in your vacation destination. But I, you know, I would never recommend you just throw your gun in your bag because those bag baggage handlers are oh, they're high vicious. theft. They're like, very high theft. Yeah. yeah, So I mean, people they they rifle through your bag. Well, you stuff. know, and you, you know, know a baggage handler. I know a baggage handler. I was baggage handler. <laughs> <laughs> you know a guy. Maybe I could be called a baggage handler. Paul. Yeah. Paul Nice. <laughs> Jen well, got it. Fuck she's, the only, the she's the only one that got it. <laughs> Two dudes a duh. But it, yeah, <laughs> it's a, yeah, it is true. They could go and grab it while you're waiting for a flight. <laughs> I get it, but he wasn't waiting for a flight. He got to where he was going. Got his gun out and started shooting people. There is no way that that can ever change. The only way that would change is by you know at the before you drive down the road to the airport, everyone stops way out there and everyone gets searched, All right? So yeah. the, the airport is the airport itself is not fully secured. Only the gate areas before boarding a plane are secured. Well, that's why I've said many times, air, airport security is is just theater. It is, but it isn't. It's it's still as much as you want to complain, a hundred times better than it was before nine eleven. Have they stopped a terrorist attack since? Well, they September have stopped 11th. several. They have thwarted several. You, they, they don't put it on the news. So most a lot of this, you don't like, what the FBI does. You don't hear any of that unless if it turns out to be a big case, someone catches wind of it. 
The FBI arrests thousands of people a year for all kinds of fucking shit. You don't hear shit about that. You go, you go for their press releases. You'll see about six for the year. You know what I mean? They, okay. you don't, they don't share anything. I mean, so I haven't heard. And I, they, you don't, you won't hear anything. Think about like you know your, your your local community here. How much shit do you hear in the paper? Eh, you okay? Every every law yeah. enforcement agency shares less than one percent of what occurs. In whatever their jurisdiction. Well, it's because the general public really I, I should know. not really know. That's what's right. Going so on in yeah, the world. exactly. So now, th- how would you feel if you found out that Homeland Security, whatever, thwarted say uh, 12, 12 terrorist attacks out of Logan? Nobody would fucking fly. You know, that's true. <laughs> right? I mean, there have been a dozen attempts. You know, they caught guys with you whatever. Know, I, I gotta say, just that just totally brought me back to nine eleven because. Um, a boyfriend of mine, his parents were actually on a plane that day and they left from Logan and they were going to Pennsylvania. Um, They ended up... Somebody, I guess, had a heart attack on the plane, but still, anyway. They didn't leave their fucking itinerary so nobody knew what the fuck flight they were on. Uh We're like, oh my God! But anyway, sorry. (laughs) Well, a friend of the show, Janice, got stuck in Aruba during all of that. Uh, I remember well, watching thing. it. She wants to suffer. I remember she watching didn't have it on a place TV. To stay, so she, it, oh. we, we know Janice. Horrific. We know Janice, so she's yeah. out of control. But oh, uh, angry. angry, 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 angry. But anyway, I just had to chime in because there was so much uh, BS about the, um, you know, the whole airport thing. People, they don't think about. First of all, the whole process. A lot of people don't know the mm. process. Yeah. If they, if you don't carry a gun, you you would have no idea about you know about that. No. So you know that's how most people she are. She shot don't know. a gun. I did. A, a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. Did you like it? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Three fifty seven, a nine millimeter, and a twenty four. Twenty five caliber, probably. Yeah. Very, very intimidating at first, so, right? 25s are like firecrackers. They're great. It was little. It was cute. You don't really need ear protection for a 25. <laughs> I like the 357. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Very intimidating hey, at first, though, yeah. isn't it? Like when you first, the first, for the first time. A lot of kickback, but yeah. it was fun. I got to tell you, uh, what, what we did to some me. poor girl, we <laughs> we took we took a 357, you know, full-size, you know, big, Big fucking gun. Uh, big time? big gun. Ugh. Loaded them all. Excuse five me. rounds of thirty eight low grain. And the sixth round was the three fifty seven high grain. So now three fifty seven now thirty eight you can put into a three uh, a thirty eight you can put into a three fifty seven. Works fine. But it's like she, she aimed and she goes pop. Well, this is easy. Pop, pop, pop. And then finally, bang! <laughs> she just, you sons of bitches! Yeah, it was a kick that really kind of scared her. And of course, she swung the gun back on everybody <laughs> on the back of the range, and everybody's like, Aah! But Uh oh, what happened? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, that doesn't matter. I want to ask you, Jen, do you have a car or SUV? What, do you, what, kind, what kind of vehicle? Don't oh. tell me exactly what. SUV oh. or a car? Oh, wait, or she. Pick she, up truck, I don't know. Well,. She's got a couple of cars. Small yeah. car. Okay. I well, think, what do you, I think what, you should go into... What do you typically drive? What do you, what's your daily driver? Okay. Your daily it's a drive. minivan. I have four kids, okay. so... Right. Okay. Yeah. No, I only ask you, at what level of snow do you shovel? Like, how much snow do you need to actually oh, go out there and shovel? this is a good question. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Whatever I can't drive through. Eight Thank inches. you. That's what I like. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> you know, and I say, because my wife, she goes out there, and she's shoveling at a half inch of snow. She's out there shoveling a half inch of snow, and I'm like, she's got a she's got a big SUV, you know. She can that drive through that Toyota 4Runner. Yeah, I'm like, unless if it's like you know more than eight inches, you know. But this is Massachusetts. You're not allowed to drive uh, in more than a quarter inch of snow. But I'm like, well, I, Deval Patrick. Right, but what I did, I told her what you do is you back in it out a bunch of times, flatten it all. <laughs> but I'm like, you know, again, I, I and I hear what you're saying about that, but it's just, oh, I, I just don't understand it. All right, like, so. I'm going to go into I, another vehicle that she owns. What do you got? It, it's, it's on what my dream it? car list. Oh, no. Really? That's it. That's it. What is it? It's a 1974 Brooklyn. <laughs> 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 I 
Oh, uh, what color? Orange. Safety. Wow. Safety orange. <laughs> Safety orange. <laughs> wow. It's uh, one of those cars that, as a kid, I had the. Uh, I had the. Uh, should I get a picture of it? Oh God! Did you? Oh. oh. It. All right. So you had the Mercedes with the gull wing. I think it's a thirty-eight. And then uh, the. Uh, and then all of a sudden, the Bricklin came out. It was, it was by a, Malcolm Bricklin. Oh. Great oh. guy. Got his autograph. Everywhere. British, oh British supercar, right? Well, it was made in Canada. It was made in Canada? I thought that was a British. No, through AMC. No kidding. With a Ford 350 engine. <sighs> oh, so is that your baby? Yeah, yeah, it's in my parents' garage, though. So wow. it's really sad. I Last time I drove it on the road, I was pregnant with my oldest daughter. So wow. it's kind of sad. Jeez. Every every five years, I start it up and drive it down the driveway and back <laughs> in the garage. You need to give me a call when you do that. <laughs> well, I nice. promise I'll behave and not do anything messy in it, okay? <laughs> uh, all, right, all right, now that you didn't weird anybody out there. No, not at all. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, But, yeah, I just, I've been asking that question. I don't know what other people think. You know, I, I just go out. My wife goes out there and does, like, the full-on effort. Uh, right. with, there's, like, nothing on the ground, I swear. Like, you go out with a broom and, you know, as soon as there's more than a... A dusting, she has to go out there and shovel. So, yeah. She really needs a hobby because I will be inside until the snow is over right. before I go back outside. Oh, and that's another thing. Like, she, she'll, and she does it a lot. Like, she'll help her mother, which her mother is elderly, so I understand that. Um, but she would go out there three or four times through a storm. I'm like, yeah, you know, you have video, you guys flipping around uh, the whole place. Right, um, put that right into the camera there. Uh, where's your camera? Right there. Right there. Right here. Right here. You gotta, I can't see yeah. anything, so I don't no, you got to well, move it closer. Yeah, right. it's pitch black. Cut, cut, cut to her camera. Oh yeah. Want me to put it in there yours? you go. I'll put it in yours. Cut to, yeah. Oh yeah, cut to mine. Yeah. All right, hold there on. Let me put up your. Yeah, Isn't it uh, a bitch when you go and send somebody a reminder uh, and then you forget what it is you were gonna have to remind you wow. about? Look at that gullwing doors. Nice fading out. Very uh, pretty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it, it, everybody gets the point. Yep. Gullwing doors. You just wanted to see it again. I did. Yeah. I did. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. That's how, I am. <laughs> That's how I am about guns. Oh, <laughs> it just happened all of a sudden. Excuse me, yeah. weapons. Are they gone? And there, there's right. a couple of cars on my dream list. There's the 1972 Ferrari Daytona Spider. 65 Mustang. Yes. Convertible. It's uh, yes, convertible. It's, it's okay. There's a whole lot of dirty talk going on in our chat over here on uh, Spreaker. Uh, they're talking about gizzards, lizard. Yeah, and yeah, Kelsey knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, sometimes I play a lizard for fun. Oh my god. Um, play a lizard. Oh, I'm, I'm sure she meant play with a lizard. But uh, no, no, no. Uh, we were talking about being a lot lizard. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, I saw that. Or, a lot right, le- lizard? Les- les- a lesbian? lot lizard. Oh, lizard. Okay. You know, a lot lizard. Lizard, yeah. They're truck, they're truck, they're stop, truck stop hose. Hookers. Yeah. And, and, and you know Diesel's what's funny? Because I, ne- I, had, I had never I heard, like heard of that before. I think that that's the funniest fucking term. Lot lizard. Lot lizard. Ah. I can see them like all scurrying. It reminds me of like, I don't know, for some reason cockroaches is what I think of. Like you turn the lights on, they all scatter. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, <laughs> yes. diesel gets lonely on the road. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's pretty sad, oh, Big D. Lord. That's pretty sad, Big D. Don't do it. <laughs> or if you do if you do, do it, make put sure a cap you high on standards. it. Make sure you got high standards. Put a cap buddy. on it. Oh, well, all right. And he's going to get another drink. Yeah, I got it. We're out of that? wine. It's so sad. Oh, my God. So, uh, all right. Well, that, that and we split a bottle of wine together. So two bottles of wine. Two, two bottles, bottles of wine. Of wine so I need a beer. Yeah. How do you spell <laughs> simultaneously? Is it S Y? I S I. Next time we'll bring three bottles of wine. Is that better? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so. Our, our guest host has taken on the challenge of seeing if we can get uh, Byron on the floor. Uh, <laughs> she's doing a great job. Great job. She's fitting in real, real well on But that. he's not swearing very much. It's amazing. Yeah, I think well, I you, think I'm making up for that. Yeah. And, <laughs> I've been a little bit extra. 
the on the uh, fucking square train for some fucking <laughs> reason. I'm fucking sorry. Right. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Well, the uh, no, <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> I think really what it is is the more Byron drinks, he, he tends to get quieter because he just he knows he can't talk. He gets you know, into deep uh, thought. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he gets into deep thought. He, you can see he, he almost he almost falls asleep. Starts thinking about Cooper the pooper. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you'll see him. He's like. He'll, he'll it is bidet. Close his eyes for a second to like yeah. think about. I really want to try the bidet. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, you guys listen to the first time I ever tried. I, I hmm, girlfriend, you don't want to try. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless you like it that, if unless you like it like that, I don't know. cold water. Oh, I'm not cold? just talking Ice about cold. cold. Oh, hey, that. I'm not talking about cold. Well, if you think <laughs> if if you think about it, the the toilet only taps in the cold water anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, you're not gonna have warm and, water. It would need to be warm. Yeah, yeah, so that, yeah. System, that'd be a high class bidet. The system this is a Byron bidet. <laughs> the, uh, the bidet, the, the bidet is connected to the water supply to the toilet, so it's gonna be cold water. Um, My first show, in the show, summer, it's not too bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, in the summer. Yeah. My nice. first show. Yeah, it'd be nice and cooling. Ah, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> ah, but I. <laughs> My I, was it? My first show. My first or second yeah, show, was early on. I went into the bathroom and I'm like, hmm, what the fuck is this, right? I didn't know that he had a bidet. So he's laughing <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and so I stand up and I turn the dial just a little bit. And it fucking shot across and hit the wall. Yeah, you had to be sitting down, I'm sure. No, no, well, I just... He was, I'm she's glad playing, I wasn't playing sitting with it. down. She's playing with it. I'm glad I wasn't sitting she was down. Off that would have come out of my fucking nostrils. She's like, oh, how does this loud. work? And I'm... <laughs> <laughs> well, that, Byron goes, later, like the next show, Byron goes, I was wondering why there was water on the floor. <laughs> the problem the problem with it is that... Notice now yeah. I wear sneakers all the time. I don't wear socks anymore because <laughs> you never know what she's going to turn that thing on. Yeah, the, yeah, the way it is, it has day. to be. <laughs> that, it has to be well, up to. It's my a, toy. It's my fun time. Go to Byron's and play with the bidet. Sorry. It has to be up to a certain pressure before it'll that thing come on. But unfortunately, that pressure is relatively high before that valve or whatever starts no, you up. You just have to know how to use it. Oh no! You get, I know how to use it. You're just getting used to it, which is really the sad part. You should have a show on how to use it. Oh, let me tell you, you're going to hear some noises. We'll go live right now. Fuck it. Let's get my phone now. <laughs> Let's get go into the live. restroom. Yeah, so oh, I, my God. We can, we'll, we'll do a a segment for another show, shh, How to Use a Bidet. Sure. Okay, there we oh, go. Oh, look at that. You're going to get the guys. Byron's going to have a nice hell of a headache tomorrow with that <laughs> wine he drank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't have Are to. Are you here, Kelsey? <laughs> evil ass laugh. Yeah, but I don't have to be at work until. All right, well, you know, why don't we go into uh, Allie's segment? You had a couple of uh, yep. hot topic items you wanted to share. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. The light bulb. What was it that I wanted to share? Oh, yeah, the Guinness Book of World Records. All right. Um, 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 wait. She put me on the spot. Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. That was not me. Bueller. Right. Hands free. <laughs> so, okay. Trump? The Guinness uh, Book of World Records. I want everybody to take a guess as to what they think is the world's longest penis. Oh, my God. 19 inches. Oh, my God. What's your guess, by? 13.5. 13.5. Bumper? 16 inches. Hold on a second. We got, we got Kelsey. Go she ahead. She already said 23. 23? Oh. Okay, I didn't hear. 23, wow. Okay, well, Jen <laughs> wins. She's not exact, but it was, nine. I mean, 18.9 inches wow. with the tip <laughs> circumference of 10 inches. Let me tell you oh, something. Uh, that guy's dropping a deuce. Ow. He's getting cold. <laughs> fucking ow. No, that guy's dropping a deuce. He's getting cold. That's an infection. That's fucking painful just to think about. That, yeah, that's a little I, I don't. I would never even want to look at it. Well, maybe I'd want to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> just once. 18.9. <laughs> 
Um, Guinness Damn. Book of World Records, the largest breasts belong to Annie Hawkins Turner, who has an underbreast measurement of 109.22 centimeters, which is 43 inches around her chest over her nipple. Measurement is 70 inches. All right, so we're talking. What I mean, that's the world's largest breast. We're going under breast here. We talking? No, that the first forty three inches was the under breast. Yeah, the that's seventy true. inch the was ni- around the, the chest over the nipple. That's how far between the back to the front. So we're talking from the back to here. Hell Byron, of a side boob. Byron. Like this. We're, we're we're talking a hell of a side boob here. Side boob. Yeah. So I want that, that's the new cleavage, right? I want you guys. I want you guys. Oh can you believe that? Huh? Eighteen to side boobs. Side boobs. Oh, side boobs. Boob. Fucking hot. Yeah. It's side boob is hot. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. Yeah. Don't get me going, girl. Under boob. <laughs> Under boob <laughs> is just even cool. Yeah. Fucking. I'll ask out there, the guys. I'm the guys, you like the, you like a side boob? That side angle view. Is that? Uh, I like Demi use? Moore and striptease. That yeah, bitch is fun. But I I think the side boob is very. Oh, what's the, what's the word for, her? you know? Sexy. It's sexy, but I, I think it's like a, um, it's, it's something like Benny it Hill. Sure. It's like Benny Hill porn. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can exactly. just see well, just a exa- little. It gives a, it leaves a lot to the mind. You know what I'm saying? Leaves some to the imagination. Yeah, exactly. For the ima- that's exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you. It helps the imagination because you're wondering what's beyond that. <laughs> it's the same thing with uh, you know, with girls in like say uh, sweatpants. You know, certain sweatpants, not all sweatpants, but sweat. You know, some. <laughs> Some women, you know, the the way their the sweatpants just just sit on their ass just right, but it doesn't curve because of sweatpants, you know. So it's like it, you you wonder how round is that? So you're, I gotta say, you're I'm sorry, there. guys. I'm sorry. Well, he has a really well, uh, vivid imagination. I okay. Guess yeah. <laughs> late, late night with Mr. Ed said, "How do you walk something like that wrapped around your leg?" Oh. Gizzard says, "Try living with it." <laughs> Black Dog Radio Show. Big Dog says, "Side Hogan." <laughs> Gizzard says, "Morgana, the Kissing Bandit." Oh yeah. Oh, I remember her That's from back funny. in the day, the baseball games. I cannot imagine an eighteen point nine inch long penis. <laughs> oh. oh, me neither. I, I, Ow. Me neither. I fucking <laughs> hit my gag reflex from the other way. <laughs> uh, I going back up in the chat uh, above where you were reading. You can't make the show. Ah! Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Big Diesel says oh, the gosh. bidet is connected to the toilet bowl. The toilet bowl is next to the toilet paper roll. The TP roll is connected to the glory hole, and now you have Wang. Which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, They're exactly all going to want to come here and use my bidet. Well, I think only we, in the summertime. We're going to Illinois, exactly. though. We're We've going. established only in the summertime. Oh, no, yeah. summertime. Let me tell you something. They, they had to eliminate SWAS completely. Mm. SWAS. SWAS. Sweaty, Sweaty ass. ass. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Right. Well, Mo- like I do, monkey butt. I do, have, I do have a story. Steve from A Turning Point. I was... Strolling by here, and Steve is mock, <laughs> was mocking me in my uh, my little installation here, and I hear whoop, I'm like whoa, what was that? Like, yeah. you know, so I I knocked on the. You used a bidet, didn't you? And he's like, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Of course, Bumpa. In the meantime, the first time he ever used it, that. Must have been the funniest oh. I ever heard it because I heard, I heard, I'm in the kitchen and I hear faint water, and then I hear this, oh. and he and I knew, and I walked by and I went, "You use a bidet?" And you're like, "Fuck you! It's like a laser beam in here." What the? I- but when you start, you know, when you first start, like you can hear yeah. the water going, but it doesn't come out. Yeah, like, no, it doesn't. It takes a second. There's like a delay. Yeah, so it's I'm like wait, wait, so you start right. You know, so you start turning up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The Europeans know everything about bathroom technology. Well, uh, it's it's fantastic. I we gotta get say, after I gift. after that one time that I played with the bidet and you know Byron found water on the wall on the floor. Um, 
<laughs> my socks were wet. <laughs> I did try. Oh, that's that's a horrible wet socks. That sucks. Yeah. I'm like, I didn't pee on the floor. <laughs> he was like, after he's like, that's where the water came from. No, but anyway, and I know um, Bumpa doesn't miss. Yeah, but I've known him long enough. You know. Yeah, it was me. I'm pissing all over your bathroom. <laughs> okay. and, and I am certain that you there was no earthquake, so you weren't missing the, the bowl. You know. No, but you know what? I did use it again. Or I, I used, not again, but I tried it, you know, for real. And I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, was pleasantly it's a good thing. surprised. You don't end up with fucking dingleberries. No, no shittles. Know? No shittles. No left shittles. <laughs> no, no dingleberries. <laughs> You need to get the one with the blow dryer, though. Does it oh, have a blow dryer? That you see, I, I, I do. The Meadowbrook building is not as far advanced as I'd like it to be. Oh my but, god! Uh, if this know. guy had it his way, everything would be fuck yeah. <laughs> Alexa, do. please dry my ass. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Alexa, you missed a spot. I actually <laughs> ended uh, the uh, turning point Steve on. show yeah. the other night with Alexa, turn off a turning point. Oh. <laughs> Um, going back real quick, uh, D- Big Diesel says the side boob is always sexy as hell. I have to agree with that. I, it I is. Uh, how it is. Really? Yeah. Like, it's, what is the appeal about it? It's like it's like if you're wearing, say, like because a tank it, top. Because it, it, it leaves it's something just, to the imagination. It, it leaves makes a you lot wonder, to the imagination. It makes you wonder what's there and the shape of it and what the nipple looks like in the area. I'm bisexual, because, by the way. And she knows she's bisexual. I'm bisexual, oh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I wasn't but, aware of All right, so. But I'm, it's very, very sexual. Am I the only straight the person shape. in this room? No. I mean, so yes, now. yes. You we we don't know what the fuck happens when we leave here, girlfriend. <laughs> oh. Um, but Lane I'm said says I'm afraid to ask what is the girth of that eighteen point nine ten inches? inches. So ten inches, which uh, it, we're looking at like probably almost like a coffee can, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. That'd be like a coffee can. Yeah, you can keep that to yourself. Well. Yeah, okay, that, no, no, hey, cut, cut to her camera. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? What does she got? Her cut, face cut is be red. The face, the face, the face is be red. Ten inches, okay, ten no, inch I'm, girth. I'm <laughs> Think of that. It's like a, the bottom of like, the bottom of a coffee can. Yeah. Thank you. Like yeah. The bottom of a coffee can. That's... No. No. Mm-hmm. Chock full of nuts. Just, <laughs> well, no, think. All right, now, fun, literally. Fun, <laughs> From the from the lady's standpoint, okay, you get all excited. You feel, you know, you, you just manage to figure out he's got a lot of junk down there. Okay, he drops his pants, and you see that that fat snake. It, I'm it's like, like a it's like a dryer hose. I'd That's like, exactly what. I'd be like, hello, you have to go to the hospital. Be right I'm there. I'm on my way. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I mean, like you know, do you, I don't know. Does that, that like, does it appeal to you? Um. Well, yeah, at first you'd be like, "Wow!" I mean, I would be and then amazed. Be like, what are you gonna do with that? I'd be amazed, and I'd be like, "That's okay, not going." Well, on. that's not going to me. <laughs> Got to put that. There are, there are, away. You, know, you know, there are people that I bet it, it would work for, and those are the people that. Yeah, would, with the, the big fisters, fucking vaginas fisters, that yeah. could stick their own foot up their pussy. The fisters. I'm sorry, that, I didn't mean to work. get so gross. The fisters yeah, would be the ones that work. Oh, I'm not. Fisters aren't. Ugh. No, um, I don't understand that either. I don't. I mean, yes, a human head can obviously pass through the vagina, but oh I don't understand it's what... It's different coming out versus what, going one, in. Yeah, but what... Would you be interested in fisting? No. <laughs> right. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole fist going in, like, yeah, from I mean, the elbow down. From, like, the elbow down. It's well, like, I mean, when I, ha- when, I, when I had my twins... That, right. My yeah. my second twin was breech, and oh, I, so you had the natural. I had yeah. the doctor trying to pull it to turn him. So holy shit, that's very painful. I Having a baby's painful. I didn't feel a thing because I was I had an epidural at that point, but uh, I, I already had my first twin. It was the second twin that was breech. So yeah, was, was the ass first or feet first? Oh, feet first. Feet first. Ooh. So ass she, first. She pulled him out. She pulled him out. Feet on the ground first. That's that's the way to come out, right? I know somebody that pushed that pushed too hard I having a baby. They pushed they put uh, the baby ended up 
fall into the trash can because the doctor didn't catch it. The doctor didn't expect the baby to come out Apparently he didn't have his like catcher's mitt ready. No, it's the doctor didn't think the baby was coming out that fast. She pushed and the baby just went right into the trash can. Boom. I wasn't aware they usually have a trash can nearby, but... Yeah, usually right underneath. Oh, to catch, to catch anything. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, yeah. Good stuff. Good so, yeah, stuff. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do that right now because I got a little bit of beer in me, but uh, you know, ah. and, and a lot of wine. Oh, yeah, wine. Byron's tore up from the. You floor had up. most of the wine. Yeah, but you know what I find with oh, wine? Right, whenever wine. I drink wine, even one glass, I'll be all giddy and fucking. Oh, let me tell you that that first bottle Flighty. we drank. First bottle. <laughs> 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 now nah, seriously, twelve point, yeah, twelve percent. Something like so, that. Yeah. All right, so we yeah. have that. What's the, what's the next oh, item? Oh, and my um, the, bro- the boobs. Yeah, seventy the boobs, inches, yes, right? Yeah. The nipples. Oh, where did, I go? Did, did they have a boob size with her? Yeah. The um. Uh, all right. So under the breast. 43 inches around this way, under the breast. From... Why are you looking at me? Oh, dude, I'm just... <laughs> Waiting for the... Uh... Cover your boobs, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got the uh, little... So, and ar- around the chest... Really thing there. Around the chest... Scarf? It's called a fucking scarf, yeah. dude. Oh. Oh. So, around the chest... <laughs> pay attention, pay attention. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Around the chest, over the nipple. So this way, not under the boob. This way. Right, right across the middle. I was... 70 inches. Yeah. So that's like a quadruple Z. That's taller than me. You know, let me find out what cup size that is. I was just trying to figure that out. <laughs> she, 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 okay, she, I got to figure out what cup size that is. You take 70 inches of a tape measure and put it around. It's like no, your, but your you have to find the right? cup size. The right. size of the cup that actually I holds get, the right, boob uh, yep. has nothing to do with the no, number right, that goes around. No, right, because everybody's different. Oh, right. No, no. It has nothing. It's like the size of Yes, o. people are different. Right. But o. That's what I'm saying. You go, the, the big O. o. All right, so big la- o. ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, <laughs> so going around this I'm way, just you making the number, up. but the cup is the letter. that's what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, that is size O. I'm just oh. I'm making that up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Wow. She wants the echo. Uh. I'm not reaching over there for it. <laughs> did I want the echo, fucker. Do it? I did want the echo. Hold on a second, ready? Hell yeah. Here we go. Right. I can echo. He's reaching a screen. Uh, oh, uh, that's enough. One more. Uh. Okay. I, you didn't even let me finish. Yeah, so, uh, no, see, right. see how awful you Typical are? You didn't even man. let me finish, man. Ah. Typical. Oh, you know what? I let... Wow. <laughs> put it, put I the... like another woman in this studio. Put the echo on. Where, where were... I put the echo on. Put the echo on. Let her finish. Click it two, Which two Which one down it? towards you. I was fucking around. This one? Nope, nope. Where? No, this the one? Big, the big blue one. Okay. <laughs> okay. We will be in second. Okay. Um. 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 Uh, oh, baby. You like that? Oh, I, I click it. You like that, don't you? You like that, don't you? <laughs> All right. All right, yes. now, he recorded that. He's going to be listening. To oh, get <laughs> He's going to loop it. Get, get it and Diesel already trying to figure out how to get that playing back. There are a bunch of truck drivers out there listening. On a, Diesel, yeah, he's probably got the radio full yeah. blast. Going, guys, listen to this shit. Oh. A... Late night with Mr. Ed says about the boobs that the lower back pain must have been unbearable. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Like well, Dolly, Parton, Dolly Parton, she uh, had she Punky had, Brewster. Yeah, Punky Brewster had a breast reduction, but um, Dolly Parton had a lot of back problems due to big breasts. Yeah. Give it, man. I was ready to splooge. What the fuck's a splooge? I was gonna read it, but I was like, what's a splooge? Actually, I had a friend whose who's oh. name who's nickname. Well, I've never was heard Spooge. that fucking word before. Splooge? Okay, oh. see another new oh. lesson for Allie tonight. I can't. I, she's like so like. <laughs> I, I I'm sorry, I'm not as fucking nasty as you. Fuck. Jesus Christ, nasty ass old fucking creepy ass <laughs> men. <laughs> we Dirty got old, old fucks. Old balls. <laughs> <laughs> sweaty balls <laughs> sweaty ball I'm the baby of the group oh my god yeah but you're not too far behind me 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Only a year. The best part is I'll never catch me. up. Only a year behind. No, I'll me. die. I'll die just so you will catch up. <laughs> He's only a year behind me. Oh, uh, oh I'm forty. You're forty twenty. Forty, yeah, twenty four, forty twenty, yeah. Oh my That's good. God. I'll, I'll go with that. No. Wait, if he's younger than you, I'm older than everybody. Well, if we you're we older weren't than him, you're older than everybody. We weren't oh sharing God. that. Yeah, you are. You just outed yourself. Welcome, <laughs> welcome little, to the little bit there. Show. Little bit. There. I'm still twenty eight. That's okay. All right, that a girl. That's the way you do it. <laughs> I'm 28 and three quarters. Don't make that face at so me. So you're still younger Slap. than me. no face. This Slap is right now just I kind of blurry. Face. It's kind so of blurry. Gold. Slap Yeah, him. we do see those faces when you don't think we see those faces. Byron, what do you got for topics, brother? Thanks, Gizzard. I appreciate the explanation. Oh, my God. I saw that. I, I couldn't. <laughs> uh. I'm not going to read it. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> Oh, you switched you the just screen read it. just in time. You just oh, well, you all, yeah, you want to see it? There you I love Twitter. It. Hey, now. Because, yeah, he, he said it's Splooge, and she's like, what the hell is Splooge? And then that was her his response. All right. And, uh, yeah, I've uh, never big, heard that word before. Big ever. Diesel say truckers like Wicked Pissa in the Black Dog radio show because of Diesel's spine-shattering semi-surround sound. Whoop, whoop. Oh, and he's got hey that now. thing. Ba-boom, All man. right. Ba-boom. So put that echo back on. Whoop, hold on. Hey, crank this one. Right. Crank, crank this up. Go ahead. Whoop, whoop. Oh, my God. Really? What am I supposed to do? Oh. 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 You like oh. that, don't you? You give, like that. Give it to me hard, Daddy. You like that, don't oh. you? You like that, huh? Oh. You like that, right? Oh. All right. Oh. You're listening to the Wicked Pisser Show. If you're not listening to us, you don't know what the fuck you're missing. That's right. The Wicked Pisser Show, folks. That's what you just heard. So, uh, let's go back to Byron. All back right. to the regular schedule program. I almost had to close the window there so my neighbors outside who are hanging out outside. Cause I know. You got some weird neighbors. Right? You got weird neighbors. You, got, you live in a, a small apartment building. They put the heat and, on when yeah. it's fucking 65 you know, degrees towering, outside. Towering, towering building. The towering but building here. But they all have the fucking out neighbors outside. outside in the parking lot. I know, they nice. sit on the cars. <laughs> they sit on the cars or on the phones the truck, or the, well, whatever. The, the truck guy. Sure for the oh, truck yeah. guy, yeah, but then the truck guy. He I, used to freak me out, though, like when I first hey, started coming to the show. I was like... I know my car is safe. I came... <laughs> I'm like, no, but I didn't know what the fuck... I came here one time, there were three there. people outside, the guy in the truck. And then the, the lady that parks like right in front. I like front, how you whisper. The yeah. little, little red car. I the one, the one that wakes me up in the yeah. middle of the day with her. And then the one. The, I swear to God. The new sounds, tenant. The new tenant was over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, no, no. That's, that's a weird guy. Yeah, no. That's a weird guy who's with the with the one who talks on the phone. <laughs> okay. I think that just about well, fucking clears quiet, everybody up. <laughs> it's such a quiet building. Gets so oh, strange, talks so. on the phone. It's kind of like good that they all keep to themselves. This is why I live here. It's cheap. Way to cheap. eliminate people, Byron. Dirt cheap for this, for this Metro community. West. Yeah. Always talking on his phone. I like that. But, Always talking on his phone. Oh, yeah. Kelsey, uh, Kelsey, she lost us. No, she's gone. Okay, yeah, she's she lost us all. She's, uh, uh, yeah, I know. She, she, she was have, so quiet. She, forgot she was there. No, she may have a client. So oh, that we, girl. We, got, we got to make sure that she uh. is uh, making money. Hi, Big Diesel. That was funny as hell because an old boy stopped, uh, stopped and asked me, what the fuck that was? I told him it was a wicked <laughs> pizza show. Oh, my noises. Big Diesel. Yeah. Gotta love him. My fun noises. Uh, All right. So, so a couple you. of things on my end here. We've got Car- uh, uh, Mariah Carey's epic fail oh, yeah, on New Year's Eve. Eve. You know what? I reported that story. Like the. Well, yeah, we talked about it a bit. You yeah. did, but a couple of days later, all of a sudden, mm-hmm. it came out that she was just... The prima donna, the entire time, she's complaining she's that, a snotty little that bitch, her, ears, right? her ears were bad. Oh. Ears in the system, in, 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 in our business, are the headphones. Everybody else, you notice everybody else here wearing headphones. I got my in-ear. I got my isolation. I need to be isolated from all the noise. Because he's special. I'm a prima donna. Needs. Ah. Special hey, needs. I'm just glad you admitted uh, it, brother. He's special uh, needs. People. I'm a prima donna. I need my... I, you're isolated. Apparently, she does too, but uh, she can't sing her own goddamn music. What? Oh, come on, people! She's been singing this crap for years. Oh, maybe too long. Maybe she's done. 
All right, it's time for her to 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 give it up. Uh, we got another thing: the Celebrity Apprentice. Anybody watching that? I have not watched the Arnold version, no. You watched it there, Ellie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Told you I don't I have never cable. watched it. All right. So d- you've all watched The Apprentice before? No. no? Oh, that's right. You read. Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> I have kids. I don't watch, uh, okay. yeah, I right? don't watch that, sh- I, that stuff. What, the stuff I do watch is all DVDs. You won't even say all. shit. You were just about to say shit and you changed it to stuff. I was oh, no. thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to say it before the end of the time that she's hanging out with us. But I'm just saying, you, it's you, the Wicked Piss the Show. You, Fuck you, shit, piss cunt. What the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> you have, don't there. be shy. That's all I mean. You have, you, you've watched The Apprentice? No. Okay. I, I have. So, way, well, all right, no, so you're I mean, back in the I, I, know. I, I know a little bit about yeah, it. I know exactly but, what right. it is, yeah. So that, uh, Donald Trump is still the executive producer. He should be. He's one of the first guys who uh, yeah. he, he worked with with the production company, and he gave it its oomph yeah. because you're, you're talking about working for a powerful person. Trump is a powerful person yeah. still to this day. Now it's proven. He yeah. is our president. Now... We've got a, uh, the governor, which he is way overplaying himself. He's the governor of a bankrupt state yeah. for two terms. He's a governor because he can't become the, the, the president, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Fine. Cause he- I appreciate him. He's okay. <coughs> He's got his catchphrases. You're terminated. Get to the helicopter. Kind of shit, kind of irritating. Show is still is. good. The show is still good. It's just when you get to the point where you're dealing with with uh, with. Uh, he, he, why would you want to be his apprentice? I don't know. Yeah. See, right there. That that whole that you yeah. just summed it up right there. For him, yeah. I, I, I can't know. really figure out why. I'm gonna no. jump in right. Quick and say late night with Mr. Ed says Mariah Carey equals 30 pounds of crap in a two pound bag. <laughs> huh. Yeah, but you get, I mean, we're going that two pound bag. She is gone She's way hot. beyond that two pound bag. She's she is. Hot. She's hot. No. Curves are cool. No. Not cushion for the pushing. Not her curves because she tries and tries and tries to hide them. Well, yeah, you know what? I. I've found even with myself as a woman trying to hide even my muffin top. I mean, the rolls go someplace else. They always go somewhere. They don't go away. You it can't hide them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You, you you need to understand. You need to be who you are. You should never pretend to be someone you're not. Exactly. And you should be accepted for who you are without, I agree. without exception. I completely agree with you on that one. With all your quirks and everything else about you. And if somebody is your friend, they will have your back and not talk shit behind your back, right? Well, they should be. What's that quote I sent you this morning? Do you remember? No, are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> my next topic. I mean, I'm going with Byron's binge worthy. I wasn't that's... even done with my segment, but that's all right. Oh. So, okay. No, that's all right. Go ahead. No. no. Continue. No, continue. You're already in your oh, store. Oh, already. Oh, already three hours over, but whatever. Really? Oh, yeah. All right. So do it real quick. Okay. I had the boobs and the dick. That's what I had. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's all you had. I thought that's all you had. Well, I had questions. Oh, well, then please expand. No, that's all right. Good. It's good. Go, Byron. Go. Actually, I'm kind of curious on the questions. Well, the what? questions were, what were your questions for the Guinness Book of World Records? Well, what else would you like yeah, to see? Yeah, what would you like to know from the Guinness Book of World Records? I don't know. I have a friend who's in the Guinness Book of World Records. I mean, Book even like Records. something even something like totally out, out there, whatever. How the fuck you want to say it? Hmm. I don't know. I, 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 all right, so... What do you want to know? I'll type it in Google. Smallest penis. <laughs> I don't think they have a Guinness Book well, for that, no. We'll find out. World fall smallest penis. That, I'm guessing it's about like that big. Anyone, anyone, smallest anyone? penis contest. Uh, no, just anyone have like, if, yes. if these how were women that, with though? small tits, the whole world would oh, be God. talking about how brave they were. 
Oh my god! All right, so should Wait, she? Should I have she... a feeling I'm gonna be opening up all kinds of porn and yeah. fucking on my new laptop and get yeah, a yeah, virus. Don't, don't, don't and do that. Shit. Yeah. She doesn't even have virus protection on that <laughs> sucker. Okay. I don't, do I? Bobby and I just got it. Mm-hmm. Fuck. All right. Well, see, uh, that's I do, the. End. I do have two friends that happen to be fucking computer geeks. You know, they could help me out a little bit. Yeah, but. Now you're looking up shit that you probably shouldn't. Smallest penis <laughs> contest winner is surprisingly proud of his package. <laughs> or lack A 27-year-old UPS worker who won Brooklyn's smallest oh, penis told the Gothamist's website that the size of a man's... Hold on, I'm waiting for it to load, the, the page to load. <laughs> I hooked I you up on the page. 5G network here. Yeah, well, I had to click on it, so sure. Oh, okay. Um, Clickbait. <laughs> Anybody uh, else here? Click- the size of men's penis, whether it's big, small, or normal, continues to be a topic that grabs our attention. So it's fascinating that a man with a small penis is perfectly happy to proclaim that, yes, he's exceptionally short-changed in the downstairs area, and yes, he might, he's all right with it. Uh, this 27-year-old UPS worker who won Brooklyn's smallest penis contest told the Gothamist website that the size of a man's penis does not matter for who he is as a person or in a relationship. Of course, that's so true. Here, here. The oh. fact is, chaps, is that Nick is right. Penis size is not the most important thing to a woman. Sex uh, expert Tracy Cox has long since been an advocate. <laughs> Dick Cox, that's funny. She's a sex advocate and her name's Cox. I don't think this is a true story. I'm reading it right here. <laughs> uh, huh. Reading it right here on Google News. It's it Google could be News. Right. It, it could it's be not from TMZ. TMZ. <laughs> it is not TMZ, you dick. Oh god. <laughs> if you are worried about penis size, you should know that most women learn very quickly that if a guy has a big penis, he's not going to be much good at sex because he thinks that's enough and he doesn't need to try. So he thinks his dick is going to compensate for everything That's else. That's an interesting point. Hmm. It's true. You kind of just give up. Well, what, do I, what do I really need to do? I just got to <laughs> stick this in there and she'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, a lot of guys think all they need to do is stick it in you. That's it. They don't know. They need to go back and forth and out and all that shit. Just Fucking just move just it, back bitch. and forth. You got to go side to side, too. Come on, mm-hmm. everybody. All around. Hold on. Do ready? the wave. Pardon me. Pardon me. One second. <laughs> I'll get there. Don't wait for me. Oh, I'm no, only just, here for a competition on burping. No, it was, it was, it was, it was building. I only up. started the burping because he no, was the doing wine. It. Yeah, I know. The yeah. wine prevents you from burping because it's kind of you kind of. You get heartburn. She she no. Not yet. Oh, can we please, if sure. I may, ask for a request? Can we get the millennial song? Oh boy. Okay. Wow, what is the longest pubic hair? Gives it out, that one. Longest pubic hair. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. We never disgusting. Find out, found out about the UPS guy. Like, did he say his size? Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. See, I think it's we need the size. size. Well, you're right. You're absolutely You're hard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For what exactly? I can't wait uh, to tell yeah, Steve know. that you just can't be on that show anymore. Okay, okay. <laughs> Surprisingly <laughs> proud of his pack. Hold on. I'm sorry. We're going to sign you directly so that uh, Steve can't have you so on the show. World's smallest piece. He'll have to come down here. Uh, and he loves coming down oh, here. Oh, yeah. He loves this studio. Oh, he loves this studio. What's going on? We're just oh, in here. She's ready with the button. <laughs> We're just Look early in stages. Look at, yeah. Look at her. She's getting used to it. This is kind of frightening. Yeah. <laughs> One um, night on. It's a good thing you had something to eat beforehand. Well, we, uh, why get, look thing. at that. Otherwise, me, you'd be like, this real quick. You're listening to the Wicked Pisses show. If you're not listening to us, you don't know what the fuck you're missing. Uh-oh. All right, so the competition included a swimmer round of skimpy mesh mankinis and a Q&A. Best of all, when Gil Ronan was proclaimed the champ and was handed $200... Elton John's Tiny Dancer was playing. <laughs> <laughs> Good Gil, Gil Ronan is currently single, but said he would like to sue. 
he'd like to sue the prize money towards a date. I don't know why I said sue the prize money. That makes sense to me. Um, talking to the Gothamist about whether small penises have a bad rep, he said, yes, that's the media's fault, I think, for both men and women. They push out <laughs> images <laughs> of, of people who aren't regular, normal people. The size of a man's penis does not matter for who he is as a person or in a relationship. Some people let that false sense of body image upset them and they shouldn't be upset at all. Even worse, some people who... who some people use those false standards and judge other people. <laughs> it's disconcerting. Okay, oh. how small was this guy's dick? Um, oh my God. World's smallest penis at erect length was 5.88 inches, which is considerably less than the old measurement. Five? What? Consider- five? Yeah, 5.88 inches. Isn't that about fucking six average? Six inches is average, it right? Inches, not centimeters? No, it says inches. I don't feel that bad I anymore. Think, hold on. That's all right. <laughs> hold on. I can't. Just say It's yeah. not moving. That's the brand new computer. I hate when that happens. It's not. <laughs> Neither is that five point eight something inches. You know, because <laughs> that that is actually the average. Remember, we had that big sex thing. Uh, no inches. How long? Yeah, ago? we did. Fourteen point nine centimeters is five point eighty eight inches. Yep. Wow, there's a lot of silence there. How wait? How many centimeters? Fourteen point nine centimeters equals five point eight eight inches. And uh, if you research the average, that's the average. So the average man is the smallest. I'll find out. Hold up. That's just not right. I'm saying six, maybe six and a half, if that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh God. All right, all all right, all right. I'm just going to keep my mouth well, shut. Yeah. <laughs> well, you kind of have to with that one. It, it, it just, it what are you oh. trying to say? Less than a mouthful. How do you compare the average <laughs> penis size? Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Ding, 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 ding. There he sits inside your local coffee shop. Sporting a main bun and facial hair. Somehow he believes, although he has no job, that by his 30s he will be a millionaire. M-I-L-L-E-N-N-I-A-L, gotta love millennials. M-I-L-L-E-N-N-I-A-L, gotta love millennials. She posts lots of selfies on her Instagram. Hopes to change the world while wearing yoga Pants armed with her dreams and knowledge of essential oils Love that 
tune. Great tune, great tune. Who sings that again, Bumper? Micah Tyler. Micah Tyler, you An rock. And he does artist. the entire thing himself. It yeah. is a cappella. I believe it's, what, four or five different parts? Yeah. That he does by himself. Um, so where we were before we went to the short little break, um, what is the average size of the man's penis? They are finding that the average American man's penis is 5.6 inches long. And the shortest was 5.8? And the shortest was 5.88. Hmm. What is up with you white men? Uh, obviously the 5.8 <laughs> isn't right. Oh. Well. All right. <laughs> any any more any questions for the Guinness book? Who wants to know any? What do you want to know? I don't know what else you know. <laughs> Gonna make a video with me singing the song. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> I will do that. I will. Longest belch. Longest belch. Is it a competition for you two to work, huh? Oh, son of a motherless goat. I would play the uh, music that I normally like to play. You know what? Screw this. I'm going to do this. Oh, oh my god. god. I watch a lot of that. Oh, ready? Here we go. Good god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. World's longest burp. 18.1 seconds. Whoa. All right, I got That's a question. That's a long fucking burp. Oh, my God. I got a question. All righty. Hold on. Let me clear this. Bad. Yeah, Most sure. bowling balls held at the same time. Last That's time so it was... stupid. Last time it was PFC, who is now a sergeant. Are we talking uh, about 10-pin or candle-pin? 10-pin. There you go. 10-pin. Yeah. Most. Most bowling ball. 10-pin bowling ten balls. Pin. Not Boeing, bowling. How many can you hold? He, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, hey, there you go. Oh. Uh, that was PFC uh, 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 Wagner, who was a good friend of mine. Uh, I was working a, a job one day, and uh, I was working the door at a bar, and he didn't realize that I was working the door at the bar, and I was armed, and he went to grab my gun, and I put his face into a window. <laughs> Oops. And he just kind of, and everybody outside went, yay! <laughs> and uh, he didn't realize that I actually was working that night, you know, instead of just one of his drunk friends hanging out, you know? It was kind of weird. Oh, but uh, that kid got into the world, the Guinness Book of World Records, in the uh, and, and the fact that he got into the Army and, and served... He served in Afghanistan two tours, and uh, I'm proud of this kid. Uh, he... Uh, smart guy now. He's a sergeant now, and I believe he's working in the uh, in the press corps. So he's he's uh, doing reporting now for for that stuff. And uh, that's not easy to do, working in the military doing that shit. Okay. The military they they tell you what to report. Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, you guess. They tell you what to do. I mean, that's you're in the military. Yeah, it, yeah, you could, you it. couldn't deal with that. You can't tell the truth. Oh, okay. Well, so the most the most truth. bowling balls held simultaneously in the Guinness Book of World Records is thirteen. Mm -hmm. Who do we got? Thirteen of the the ten pin. What's what's the name on it? His name is Chad McLean. Ah, oh, Chad. Okay. Yeah, let's give him a call. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll, Get him on the I'll, show. I'll, I'll exactly. Let me right now. <laughs> Put, look him up on Facebook. Whack him up. Text. Uh, send him a message. We'll call, call him on Facebook. We'll play some music. Are you meantime. serious? Yeah. You, you really not? want me to do that? Absolutely. Wait, what's that, his name send, again? Send, send me the profile. He's probably Dude, sleeping right now. You've only had one beer. Chad McLean. You're going to do it? Uh, two beers. A beer and a half. 
right, then let's do ah, it. Ah, where do I put this Chad McLean? Oh. Chad McLean. On Facebook, right? Go to Facebook. Yeah. This is really How do I know if I got the right Chad McLean? There's got to be a fucking oh. million gazillion yeah. of them. All right, well, yeah. All right, so we're You'd not have to actually Chad. do some research on that next time. So and, uh, we'll do that. All right, so next any time. other questions for the Guinness World Book? I can't think of any more Well, getting too filthy. and. Jen, you got any questions for the Guinness World Book? What would you like to know, biggest feet? Biggest, um, smallest, oh, tallest, shortest. Just go wild. Fattest, go heaviest, wild. smallest. Go in left field. Go... <laughs> Go Lisa on the situation here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Is there a record for how many martinis you can drink in a night Ooh. and not pass out? Okay, let me check that. Not that Lisa would do that. Wait a minute. I think I know. There's a painter in the area. <laughs> Be <laughs> rad. Oh Brad. my god. Be rad, I think, uh, could drink. Yeah, my friend, yeah, a friend of mine, he, uh... I think yeah. he could drink all of us under the table. I think we should give someone a surprise call. All right, who are we calling? Oh, it's too bad it's so late. I would say let's call Wilford. Ah. Oh, okay. I love Guinness Wilford. Book of World Records. What, what was your question again, honey? I think we're going to go with the, the, the most alcohol. How many martinis? Yeah, martinis, sure. We'll do sure. that. Couldn't think of anything else. All right, I'm gonna grab another beer. Well, she's. Well, looking. I'm. I'm. Another beer. Where are you going? Are you looking? What are you? What are you? What are you looking up? I uh, was thinking of calling somebody. Who are we calling? How about Rizzo? Billy Johnson. Uh, oh, you. This, this guy. Ooh. Huh. I think we should. All right, I can't big find how many martinis. Diesel. I can't find how many martinis. Big Diesel. But I found the largest cocktail. If you're cocktail. still listening, call yeah. us. Oh, all right, that's good. What did you if get? You're, if you're listening while well, you're on largest the road. Largest cocktail see, is 39,746.82 liters, which is 8,743 gallons. 10,499,000 U.S. gallons. <sighs> Ooh. And was achieved by Nick Nicora in Sacramento, California. How long? On July 13th, 2012, the cocktail was a margarita, and it was made in a large cocktail shaker. But it was 10,499 gallons. That's how big it was. Wow. But it doesn't have anything about... That um, dare is a good-sized martini. I mean, yeah. martinis. It doesn't have anything in there about it's martinis. It's a wild Thursday night. A little sure. bit. All right, Big Diesel, give us a call, 774-314-704. Yeah, we are call calling him. somebody. We're calling somebody. Oh. So yeah. put your paper down. We're not going to give him an option. What's the matter with Yeah, you? don't give him the option. Just, just fuck it. Hit him. I need a beer. I need a drink, so I'll get you a beer. I need, water. I need a drink, so I'll get you a beer. Did you hear me? Hmm? Oh, you must be so busy. I bet he picked up a lot lizard, so he's uh, not answering. So that's all right. And where I, my, the whole place just cleared right out. Yep, we're all gone. We're on the show, we only got 17 minutes left, and they all leaving. Another clusterfuck show. Didn't go as planned as at all, like what do you typical. Mean it didn't go. I think this is a fantastic show. Hour and 20 minutes until we got to segment one. All right, so yeah. it didn't go. The as whole planned. point of having this is what? Thank you. That's all. That's I. Well, we had the special say. Thrones of the Shark yeah. guest. Well, all right. So bump is a, bump, bump is a little bit pissed. Well, you're the one who made that for a reason. I did because we, you know, we've did. all been talking about it and nothing gets done. I did. And here we go. And I, now I have to be the bitch on this episode because it's just. I would never call you a bitch. Well, I'm calling myself a bitch. It's okay. You I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm at that, oh and God, I'm at the end of my rope, that's all. Are you? Yeah. You want more beer? I don't need beer. You, you needed to get drunk at first. No. No. Well, that's all right, are your segment all done? Um, 
Well, Allie, I wanted to, to go into uh, my segment of, of binge worthy Byron's been binge worthy. All right, go Wait, for it. You See when I go into your stuff yeah. and well. I didn't even get to finish what I had. So Okay, but you guys I just asked you. I well I was just sitting right back down. Do you have anything I, else? I was, yeah. You, right. Well I I have at least one little thing and it's only tiny. Go for it. So you guys know what a lurd is? L U R D. This is something this is something new. It's a lesbian until release date. It's a woman that goes to prison and becomes an instant lesbian. Oh, that there. That's uh, the bat phone. That's the bat that phone. is diesel. Is it? Or is that you? Okay. Thank you for calling the Wicked Pisser Show. Who's calling the Wicked Pisser oh, Show? I know who it is. Ha <laughs> ha, the big D's. Hello? Oh, shit. Byron, I'm sorry. You got it. What's up? How are you, sir? How hey, we doing, guys? What's going on, Diesel? I am fucking exhausted. I ran about 500 plus miles today. Oh, jeez. I'm a busy man. You working a lot. I mean, you're crazy. Unfortunately, I think there's a lag here. That's the life of a truck driver, guys. Yeah. All in ass and taking names. So how many lot <laughs> lizards do you play with, Gizzard? Oh. Oh. Well, Gizzard's supposed to go undercover and uh, see if he can't nab a few. <laughs> I know some good spots. We can get him, uh, get him some lot lizards. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the, the live ones are always better than the dead ones, right? So, um, it's I don't know. I met some creepy dudes that might think otherwise. <laughs> oh, man. Well, just bear with me one second. There's a bit of a delay here. I'm going to try to fix that right now. Hold on one second. How were your holidays, Giz? Did you have good holiday, Gizzard? It's big diesel, man. I, I mean, dizzard. I'm sorry. I diesel. mean, dizzard. I dizzard. said dizzard. Yeah. <laughs> diesel, did you have a good holiday? <laughs> uh, I, think I had a good holiday. I'm it was fucked good. up. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, man. We're just having a bit of a delay. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to straighten that out. Uh, <laughs> you know what this shit's like. <laughs> no, it was good. We had. Uh, I expect nothing less. It's good. Nice. Yeah. No, New Year's Eve, uh, I think I put away like a 12 room myself before doing a couple shots. Oh, jeez. Uh, any, uh, any interesting uh, resolutions for the new year? Well, I only got one. What's and that, that is... I want to be the best driver on the road, meaning I want to make the most miles, I want to make the most money, and I want to put Gizzard in a dress and see if we can't put him out with a lot lizard. Make that's, some what money. Giz- that's what Gizzard said on on the uh-huh. comment. He said that uh, he was supposed to dress as a lot lizard. <laughs> oh, Late man. night with Mr. Ed. That's it's awesome. not going to take much. We'll put we'll put a blonde wig on him, maybe some lipstick. We'll call him uh, Toothless Tammy. That's what we'll do. Toothless <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we just wanted to bother you. You know you're listening and uh, kind of wanted to know how, how well did that go over, that loud um, moaning. That oh, yeah. Did. did you like that? The, uh, uh. <laughs> it was something else. I was sitting <laughs> up uh, finishing up my paperwork, and uh, this one old boy walked up, and he had a. He's he's one of those old school truckers. He walked up and he said, "Son, what the fuck are you listening to?" <laughs> and I said, "That's the Wicked Pisses Show. If you need to, you go ahead and listen up." <laughs> oh man, appreciate you giving that a shout out for us and getting uh, some yeah, attention. Yeah, thank you, Diesel. Appreciate that. Oh, 
All right, brother, we're going to let you go. There's too much of a delay here. I apologize about that. That's something we're still uh, tweaking on here, of course. You have a great night. Live it wicked pizza style. You guys, too. And uh, come, I don't even know the name of it, but when that fest hits, we're going to see how many people we can drink under the table. Yeah, man, yeah I can't be... wait for the for the festival. That's going to be so much fun. Hey, you're going to be on the, uh, the show tomorrow night? Uh, it, it all depends. They got me running, uh, another 200 plus miles, so if, uh, if they send me home tomorrow, I may be on. If not, I'll probably call in. Oh, all right, man. There you go. Hey, well, I, I got something. Hey, it's Byron here. I got something for you. Ready? There you okay. go. That one's for you, okay? I should have echoed that. Uh-huh. That's a tall boy. Tall <laughs> boy. That one makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you very much, and I uh, hope you have a good night. Drive safe out there. Have a good night and be safe. You guys have a good night, too, and uh, we'll make sure that when we get lizard or uh, gizzard out there, <laughs> we'll have a sign that says $5, and we'll send you to heaven. All right, man. <laughs> Watch out for them uh, Prius drivers. $5 make you holla? Huh. All right, brother. Good night. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Good night. So uh, I looked up uh, the world's biggest pizza because Late Night with Mr. Ed wanted to know. Yeah. Did you guys know that the world's largest pizza weighed 26,883 pounds? Yep. According to the keepers of human history... Over the Guinness World Records, the largest circular pizza ever baked weed was made in Norwood, South Africa. By how the fuck do Africans know how to make pizza? Um, by Norwood <laughs> Hypermarket on December eighth, nineteen ninety. Yeah. Yeah, I knew about that. Well, no, it's like an Italian thing. I'm not trying to be freaking prejudiced or anything. I'm just talking Probably. more of an Italian thing. It's not a fucking African thing. Why yeah, would but- Africa? Have the world's largest pizza for South, Christ's sake. South Africa is uh, so, yeah. mostly white. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well, you know, I'm Sicilian. I'm from the shit end of the boot, so. <laughs> <laughs> I probably got some African in me. I know I have from time to time anyway. Oh. <laughs> African by insertion. Ah. <laughs> That's definitely multicultural. Oh. Absolutely. I don't discriminate. I dislike everybody equally. Oh, <sighs> <laughs> uh, we are down to our last seven minutes. So, all uh, right. So I got. All right. I got th- th- this one thing I found. Just blockbuster, one? huh? My oh, blockbuster yeah. card. Oh my Which, god! We're not on, I, been I, out of I, business for uh, We're not on video. We're not on video. Okay. No, but we I have found, a blockbuster card. I found my blockbuster video card. All right. So I got a little bit of Byron's best bits for uh, some. Some uh, oh, there's Cooper. Uh, it's for uh, Byron's uh, binge worthy. Uh, gotta say, Westworld. Awesome fucking show. Kind of impressed. Incredible. With it. I am extremely impressed with that show. I've Did watched, you ever see the I movie? Watched, I watched the whole season. Did you ever see the movie? No, I didn't see the movie. Wait, that's with Will Smith. No. No wait. <laughs> Um, what's Wild West? Wrong movie. Yeah, no. Wild West, West. Westworld. I know Westworld, the show, the in HBO the series. In the 1970s, Yul Brenner was called the gunslinger. Love and, Yul Brenner, yeah. And they used the, the little Easter eggs. He's hidden in the background. Uh, and it's it's a fantastic thing. Now, the story goes, I'm saying I'm hooked. So I highly recommend it. That and Leah Remini's uh, Scientology. Oh my gosh! Have has anybody watched that on a? Not yet. Network? I want to. I uh, yeah. I'm I have to, no cable. I am gonna have to catch it. I'm sure there's gonna be another. I gotta install it before you leave. It's gonna be on Netflix. Ow! Hey, kitty cat. Yeah. Well, Cooper just, just said. tried to puncture my nipple. Yeah. Cooper just he wants some side boob. Yeah. Well, he got some. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! That but I gotta say, Leah Remedy and the Scientology thing. Fantastic look into it. You're thinking religion or cult? 
I'm cult. going cult. Cult. Scientology, you thought? Cult. Okay. Oh, well. I think it's the cult. Look what it did to Tom Cruise. I Look how fucked it. up he got from it. Katie Holmes left him and all that shit. Yeah, that's from TMZ, Byron. Um. <laughs> like, he divorced. <laughs> he divorced his last three at 30 years old, right? They were, they, as soon as they turned mm-hmm. 30, it's like. It, when they Tom turned, Cruise? Yeah. Penelope. Uh, Penelope Cruise. Penelope Cruise, Nicole Kidman, and Katie Holmes. All when they were Katie 30, Holmes. he got divorced. Yep. So there's got to be. I wonder, I wonder if there's something. Me. In that but religion, were... that uh, no, well, because 30, John Travolta is a Scientologist, no, think... and his wife Kelly Preston is older than that. Yes, but he is a borderline Scientologist. Right, he, he is, is on the way he out. How the fuck? Out. You're either you're either a Scientologist or you're not. Because he doesn't he doesn't play by the full boat. Well, he's a suppressive person. Yeah, he or likes becoming... to make his own fucking rules. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. Uh, good man, though. That's the way it should be. I love John Travolta. That Scientology show is, a, is freaking nuts, Mr. Ed. Oh, it's a great show. I, I got to tell you, uh, Leah you Remedy is a little bit of, of weird, but good good show. Yeah. Definitely a good show. Informative. I highly recommend that. Uh, Byron, I'm going to start a, loss, a lawsuit. Oh, there you go. You cat. And I just assault, missed assault. the last payment on my rental insurance. Damn it. Assault, Until it's assault by pussy. All right. Look at what we've done. <laughs> that, what we're listening to here is bar number nine. That means I think we're coming to the end of another show. Here. Yep. I'm Byron. I'm Bumpa. And I am Ellie. And we have... Definitely have to come back, Jen. It was great to have you. Yes, it was. And, uh, yeah. As you come out of your shell, you'll, you'll blend in perfectly. You did great. A couple of bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Join us and Kelsey next week. We've got a lot for you. We're going to look at this show. Say the grass green up. Have a great night, night everybody. Peace out. Be safe. Love y'all. Say that you don't know Could you can't afford the ride.
You're listening to the Wicked Pisser Show. If you're not listening to us, you don't know what the fuck you're missing.